Hi. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, we have the whole crew over here. They wanted to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what's happening. <laughs> wow. That's work it, guys. Good. Work it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give us a shout out if you're here. We'll wait a couple minutes for people to join. Hi, Carol. Um, we are here in St. George, Utah. Yay. Visiting Susan. We are in her bedroom, actually. <laughs> kind of weird. Because but... she took over the music room, so. Yeah. I'm sleeping in the music room, and it was just too hard to move everything out. <laughs> There's a dragon on so. my head. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to leave. They just wanted to say hi at the very beginning, so we're letting them say hi. Hi, everybody. Australia. <laughs> yeah, Australia. That's so cool. Australia. <laughs> yep, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're from Australia. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay, we got people popping on here. Awesome. Um, before we get started sewing, so I cut out the road tripster tote from K. Dale Handmade from Kathy, uh, last week and I haven't sewn it up yet. So I just brought all the pieces here with me and we're going to see what Susan's know. machine can do. We're, we're going to take this baby for I a mean, spin. Cause all she's sewn on it is vinyl projects, right? You just done yeah. vinyl. So the tension is probably totally wacky. No, I, um, I sewed a couple things and it was okay. Um, so we're going to try to sew an actual bag, like it's got canvas and vinyl and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and we'll see how it handles. Uh, what is a swig? <laughs> Indeed. What is a swig? The so, best drink uh, place ever. Hmm, I wonder. Guys, it's, it's a Utah Mormon thing. They it's have all these drinks. soda shops because Mormons don't really drink coffee all the time. And so they, but they love, but not only Mormons can go there. Exactly, but I'm just saying it's big because that's why. I think so. Um, <laughs> anyways, flavored drinks. Hers is a strawberry water kind of a thing. Mine's a sparkling strawberry water. Oh, it's got like, me. does it have coconut cream or some kind of cream? Oh, I love cream. you, Henry. Coconut cream, and then I get strawberry popping bobas in it. And then the kids got kind of like flavored sodas. Yeah, the kids get flavored sodas. It just makes my heart happy. And this is my special cup that I bought to keep at Susan's for when I visit. I don't even take this home with me. <laughs> All right, kids, we love you. One more sip. Go away. Bye. No, you have your own. I want to play. And they take ours. Doesn't matter if you buy them. So. I got the bye. Okay. okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. So before we get started, I have a surprise for Susan. I've been working with Jade over at... <laughs> I'm freaking out because I, I got the package out of the mail and I saw that it was from Heartwood and Hyde. I've been working with Jade over at Heartwood and Hyde to make Susan some uh, custom bag tags. And she knows nothing about these. She was so surprised when she saw the little envelope in the mail and I told her she couldn't look at it until we did the live. I squealed so. a little bit and my heart went... <laughs> So these are from Jade and I, and we designed these. <laughs> My own tags, you guys. Are the bobas made out of tapioca? No, these ones are like strawberry juice, juice bobas. To Susan, love Jade. Okay, Jade, what'd you do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. We have a couple designs my that we came up with for her. Goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> These are so cute. <laughs> okay, they say musically made by Susan. <laughs> Gotta hold it up close so they can see them. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, and they're in all sorts of different colors. There's just all sorts of different. Oh my gosh. There's Jade. Jade's Jade, on here. I love these. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so there's two different designs. Okay. Hey. There's two different ones. Oh my gosh. There's another one. <gasps> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry. 
Are you kidding me? So you have to understand that Jade is a, is a fellow musician. We, we did a lot of music talk when we were in Nashville. Mm -hmm. She plays the bassoon and the oboe. And I mean, so right away, you know that she's amazing. But it says Susan Symphonic Stitches. That's and it's cool. on a musical staff. Call it focus in? I don't focus. know. Focus. Focus. If I don't know, but it's gorgeous. Oh They're my gorgeous, gosh. right? And the staff is, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Jade. <laughs> because Detail the, oriented. The staff's correct. And see, Jade and I talked about this because if the notes are facing the wrong way or the staff's wrong, it's like, that's, ugh, it hurts your heart. They're, they're correct. They're musically correct. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jade, I didn't know if I could love you anymore. Isn't than she I did, awesome? But I'm getting a little teary eyed right now. Now I want to. We went back and forth trying to figure out um, like different, different, you know, things to put on it. Those oh, are the two. And she sent me too. new ones too. I There's wanted. a couple more in here I'm going to show really quick. Oh yeah. Always... She sent some fresh tag Fridays. Always growing. In here. Mm -hmm. Jade, don't tell me not to get teary. You know, you and I both know that those musical tab tags are so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then there's one more that says, think happy thoughts. And it's got the London Tower on it. Oh my gosh. It's from Peter Pan. Yeah, I get it. That's incredible. Jade, I love you. Jade, you're awesome. She also sent me some neon. I asked her for some more neon tags. Oh, cute. So I've got like a whole, look at this. I've got a whole range. Ooh, look at that green. Look at these neons. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love the neons so much. I'm gonna use that I know that it's her turn, turn but, but look at this. Look no, at this gray. For it. Look at that. So it's pretty. Like gray metallic. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jade. I'll give you my email, Jade. I, she says she needs my email. Yeah. Oh, these are so amazing. Jade. You're awesome. Thank you so much. She stocked me up. She stocked Susan up. She gave, did you get the Stay Wild ones? I don't think so. So she does a fresh tag Friday, guys. New tags out every Friday for retail, just retail. And they're always so fun. And I saw these ones and I thought, oh, I need some of those. Stay Wild. The neons are the bomb. I am, I'm using a neon one on this bag that we're doing right now. And then her other one that she put in here is shine bright like a diamond. I'm like, I shine need that one. Like a diamond. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jade. You're awesome. If you guys haven't checked out Heart Wouldn't Hide, she is worth the wait. She's got a wait list for her custom tags. But once you get in and she gets your design down, she does reorders really fast. Ooh, I got a whole other bag of other rainbow ones. Ugh, freaking love these. Thank I you, Jade. I love your logo, by the way. She um, helped me come up with this one. I like that she added mm -hmm. the two things together. Yeah, she she's so awesome. She she put the heart and needle with yep. the size. Uh huh. Heart. It's my favorite. Oh. How she does that. Oh, That's, those colors are pretty. I know. Jade, Jade, you're one of our favorite people. You know. All right, and I guess we'll take Chris too, her husband. Yeah, Chris, you can come. Too. Chris, you can come too. I don't know where we're going. You just <laughs> come to our favorite I don't know. people. <laughs> Land. Yep, our favorite people land. <laughs> You're invited. <laughs> we'll provide sweet <laughs> drinks provided. Oh my gosh. Yep, she is definitely worth the wait. I'm gonna put this on my bag. Yes, I am. Do you love them? I want to take you, so you off my machine and make a bag and put my tag on it right now. Oh, no, guys. <laughs> That'd be fine. All right. That'd be fine. Yes, she is totally worth the wait because I've heard people say, oh, her wait's so long. It's worth it. If you can be patient, it's worth it. All right. The tags are musically correct, people. I mean, people. She's a happy, happy girl. I just can't. All right, let's start sewing. Okay. All right, Susan is elated right now. I'm so happy. Let's move this chair oh, back out here. All right, so I'm sewing on her machine. We're going to break it in, get a bag made. We were debating, like, how should we do this? I'm just going to make it. She's going to be commenting and reading, and we're just going to be talking back and forth like we used to in the old days. And 
Next, she, I'm sure she, I brought her a ton of supplies. So she will be sewing a bag of her own with her new tags very soon. <laughs> but tonight, I'm just gonna sew and she is going to sit here with me. All right. Courtney, yes, she has her own tags now. She's just in very heaven. very serious up in here. Very serious. <laughs> it's getting very serious up in here. Uh-huh. Yep. All right, here we go. The doggies coming in and out. They're like, what's going on? We're going to have to, like, move that table yep. back towards yep. here. Just All right. The iron. Awesome. Do you have a trash? Or am I just dumping stuff on the floor? I have one, but I don't know where it is. So just do it on the floor and I'll clean it later. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. If, like, it's going to be covered in threads when I'm done. And then we'll uncover it. Okay. We'll uncover yes. it. All right, guys. We're doing our thing. Susan's going to be sitting right over here in the chair. So it'll be a perfect um, spot so you can hear her yep. as well, right? Hopefully. And this might take me a minute. I have sewn on this machine before at the wizardry retreat, which is why we got her this one. But obviously it's not my machine. I'm not used to the size of foot. It is a whoop. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Susan's just moving everything around here. Sorry. Road tripster tote. Yep. Kato handmade. Go check it out. She's coming out with a mini tripster tote which I am super excited about. Mm -hmm. And what do they say? Show them again. <laughs> yeah. Well, Leslie's like, wait a minute. I missed it. Leslie, you're late. Leslie, I will show them again. Next time I get up. Next time she gets up, she'll grab them and we'll show them again throughout the um, video. All right. I think I have to take off my shoes for this pedal. I think I need to write Jade a song. I that. think you should write Jade, Jade a song. Jade, do you want me to write you a jingle for your company? I totally will do it. Mm. We can record a video for her. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> H and H, yo. <laughs> oh, 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 goody. oh. Sorry, we may have dogs barking in and out of here. And kids doing things. And kids doing things. We are. And maybe a husband coming in saying, what's happening in my room? Uh-huh. Yeah. That may happen. Okay. So I'm not going to go over all the pieces because I did um, sew this all up. Or sew it all up. I cut it all out on a live last week. So go check that out. We're just going to dig right in. I'm starting with the exterior panel. And the zipper pocket pieces, Road Tripster Tote from K Dill Handmade. All right. I've got my zipper already prepped with my zipper tabs on there, and we're going to start putting this together. All right. Susan's going to be reading comments, yeah? Yep. I'm All right. signed in as you, so if it says Sia Swag, it says something next to me. So okay, so Susan is signed in as Sia Swag, just FYI. Oh, sh um, Sharon says you should put the knee lift in. Oh, I should put the knee lift in. Where is that? I'll get it for you. Thank you. I meant to do that and then I forgot. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. That's a great idea. Is that my Sharon? Um, from know. Texas? I don't know. Sharon W. Sharon with an E on the end. Yeah, I think it is. Uh huh. I wonder how I can get. I wonder if I can figure out how to get the whole. Um, do you want to attach this table? Would that be easier for you or no? Um, no, I don't think I need the table, but the knee lift would be awesome. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, there is my YouTube. Here we go, and here we go. Oh, yay, I can do a split screen. All right, this clips in somehow. Let me see if I can figure this out. Is that it? I don't know who's done it. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. <gasps> it works. All right, here we go. Yay. Okay. Now I've got their comments up here too, so I can read as well. But you have to give me something to do. So. Okay. Carol has that machine and loves it. Hi, well, woman. Carol, we'll see if this can handle what we're putting down here. 
Hopefully it does. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. It's going down for real. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> I need to change my ring tone. It's her ring tone, so every time I know her kids are calling, it says, it's going down for real. And Susan's ringtone is, I like the way you work it. No, no biggity. Like to bag it up. Oh, Amber's daughter is moved in and ready to start her new band camp at Ohio State. I'm so ridiculously excited for this random person who I don't know to be in the Ohio State marching <laughs> band. <laughs> so cool. Oh. I think we need to go to Ohio on a weekend of uh -huh. a game so I can go see her mm -hmm. down in March. Okay. Do you accept? Sure. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay. This Carol has that machine also. Oh, another Carol has the same machine. I mean, Susan, when you have sewn on this machine compared to the Bernina, <laughs> I mean, is there any comparison? Like, it's just like... Oh, there's a comparison. I mean, yeah. Um, oh, that Sharon is not Texas, but she's nope. a proud Patreon threadhead. Yay! Located, Thank you, Sharon. Oh, located in Henderson, Nevada. Hey, not far from here. Not far at all. Uh-uh. That's awesome. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We're just making this front zipper pocket, guys. Oh, Joni says she can't hear me. Is the microphone on this side? I thought so. Okay, I'll try to talk louder. I thought that would be a good spot for you. I thought so, too. Hmm. Mic check, check. Check, check, check. Can you guys hear her now? Can you hear me now? What about now? Kathy says, hi, Hi, everyone. Kathy. I wish I could stay for this whole video. This bag is going to be amazing. She's got plans. She's got little date and oh. movie tickets or show tickets or good for you, something. So Kathy. Go for you. Good for you, Kathy. Work it. Oh, slightly. So I'll talk. I'll just talk a little louder. I'm like, can we move you closer? Yeah, I can move a little bit closer. <laughs> Did you like the way I tried to uh -huh. move closer? Yeah, that was great. That didn't work. I'm a little afraid I'm going to use your front part of your pedal. Have you done that yet? Where it like cuts no, the thread? I haven't had any problems with it. Okay. That's good. All right. Yeah, like it just sews so beautifully through these layers. I asked Kathy if I would have any issues and she told me there's one part where I might have some issues, so I'll have to go slow on that part. Okay, Mary wants to know if I came up with a name for my machine yet. Not yet. I have to let the machine tell me what. Yeah, it's gotta talk to her. Called. And then, Jadira, have I used it for quilts? Or can I use it for quilts? Yeah, I, I'm going to. In fact, I have a project I'm super excited about doing that I started. Um, and my other machine couldn't take it and it kind of ruined it. So I've got to pick it all out and try it again. What project? My um, collage guitar. Oh, you're going to try it with this machine? Yeah, I've got to undo the stitching and I'm going to try it on this one. The quilting part. Mm. See right there, you kind of have to help it through the thickness. Hard to really tell what an eighth is on this foot. Is it the inside of the foot, maybe? It's like a slightly, slightly in. Yes, slightly in. Not quite the edge of the inside, uh -huh. but a little bit more in. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to keep an eye on my stitches, too. We're not sure how the tension is, but it's looking pretty good so far. Gypsy Woman uses the inside. I do have that Teflon foot on. Did you want a different foot? No, the top one's a good one to have. I do have a walking foot if you prefer. Mm. But I just haven't used it yet. Yeah. But it's out here. Okay. It's I'll just, let you know. Okay. So far, this one's okay. Um, the Juki model actually does, it did come with a walking foot. I just haven't put it on there yet because I was so in vinyl. Um, and so that's why it has that Teflon foot in it. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Oh, we got a little loop right there. That's pretty good. Okay. 
And do we get to see what goodies Kasaya brought? Yeah, if there's time, we have them all in here. We're gonna show them. Yeah. They're it's quite a quite a pack. Um, we may have to stop and restart well, did for you that. Uh, I think Susan did. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Uh -huh. He's coming back to get the chair. Oh, he's a nice boy, that one. He is a good boy. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Should I switch to the walking foot, you guys? I have no idea. I don't know. I think I just used a little skinny Teflon foot when I sewed on it last time. Uh, Christine says no. Gypsy Woman says you should be fine. All right, because I don't. I only have accent vinyl pieces for this bag. Other than that, it's like this cotton canvas and um, what else is it? Oh, why is that not centered? Just a minute. We'll sum it up. Um, so I'm thinking it should be okay. Thickness wise. All right. Susan, you definitely need to sew with this knee lift in. Once you get used to it, you're going to be like, oh, how did I sew without it? Okay, I'm going to try it. Yeah. Jade says whenever she uses the TL2010, she uses her narrow foot. Oh, really? Okay. Uh -huh. So I think I'll just stick with this foot if I don't have any issues. Um, and I know you probably said, but where did you get that print? Uh, this is a Zorel print. Oh, it is? Uh-huh. Yeah, I got this at oh, SME, right, remember? Yeah. It came, it came in all the different bases. So it had, they had woven, cotton canvas, um, vinyl, and even Lycra, I think. I had it all. Yeah, a lot of them are saying, no, you don't need to use walking foot. And Carrie says it's too big. Yeah, it is, okay, it's, it's pretty big and clunky. I remember using it when I used to sew on Mom's Bernina and I kind of hated it. So I don't really want to put on a walking foot if I don't have to. Pamela lo loves her knee lift too. Yeah. Yeah, Susan hasn't tried the knee lift yet. And she's not used to sewing with a knee lift. Unlike me, I'm used to sewing with it because of my industrial. So that might be, you know, that might take her getting used to as well. I can see I can clear a hand though. Like I don't ever use this hand to come back here. I just, ch 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 like even to like move my zipper. Yeah. Up out of the way, all I gotta do is lift my foot up or push my knee a little bit and it lifts my foot up so I can move my zipper. Like it's basically it's magic. I mean, look, all I gotta do is go like this and pull it up. You know. Um, Terry, I asked if she wanted the extension table on, but she didn't she didn't need no, it. No, I don't need it. I may change my mind when I start putting the big huge pieces on. I don't Darren know. Darren wants to know, is this considered a semi industrial? Yes. And I, I mean, that's, huh, that's a debate. Right. Cause it's Some people say there, there's no such thing as a semi-industrial sewing machine. It's either an industrial or a domestic, but in our bag making world, it is been called a thing now. So yes, as far as that goes, it is considered. We should start a fight. Let's store it. Let's do it. Right here, it wants to fight me just a little bit on this thickness. What is it, what is it doing? Okay. It just kind of sits, so you kind of have to just give it, it a tiny little push, uh -huh. and it goes over. Um, Lynette, she's using um, Tex 45. Mm-hmm, top and bottom. Yep. And it's working like a champ. I don't mean to brag, but I wound the bobbins all by myself. Mm -hmm. so. She did. I didn't even watch her do it. How did you do it? Did you have a extra, like an extra bobbin winder machine? No, I just did it on there. Okay. It's really, it's really easy actually. I threaded this all by myself. How about I that? I noticed that. I was going to come back and thread it. You had already done it. Mm-hmm. I got out the manual. <laughs> I'm like, she's got it in here, right? Yeah. I need it. You know I do. <laughs> I'm like, Susan wouldn't throw that away. Nope. All right. So there's my cute front zipper pocket. 
Decrease your presser foot tension if it's starting to drag. Mm, how do I do that? Do you see that knob on top? This one? Yeah. Oh, and is that this? Yeah. Okay. It's just right here at the zipper beginning and end that it did that. Do you ever make your own clothes? They want to know. Me? No. But. Right side up. Sorry, I'm reading directions. Um, I am going to start learning from Bethany. Oh, that's right. From Craft. What's her name uh, on her business? Crafting with Bethany, I think. We met her at So Magical oh, Nashville. So she came and helped us set up our booth and just became an awesome friend. And I'm. she just got an industrial machine to learn bag making. And... I have really wanted to kind of learn more garment making, which is her specialty. So we are gonna do a little series. I'm gonna fly out there and she's gonna fly out to me and we're gonna record a bunch of content teaching each other how to make bags and clothes. I am really excited about that. That's gonna be fun. My bottom does not line up. But I wonder what my seam allowance is down there. I'm gonna have to move this a little. I don't know why it's not. Hi, Brenda. Sorry, I'm going to have to just adjust this so my, my Jadira, base team will catch that. it is hard enough to travel with. That's kind of yes. the point of it a little bit. It is. Because she's thinking we may have to start taking this to some of our stuff. Mm -hmm. I need to get a, some kind of a case. I need to get a case. Yeah. Yes, it is light enough to travel with, which is fabulous. Um... Yeah, because we were just thinking for some of the sewing in the state, sometimes it's a little frustrating sewing on other people's machines. And uh, it would be nice if we had our own sometimes that we were familiar with. Or if they only had one and we wanted to sew two people, you know, lots of different reasons. We thought it would be nice to have another machine. And I just really wanted Susan to learn more because she was loving it. True enough. Okay. Sorry, I have never made this bag, you guys. So. We will forgive you. I am learning as I go here. Now I want to baste these layers together. See how easy that was to turn? Because I just had to press my knee. Yeah, I think I need to start doing that. Mm -hmm. Another time I need tags, I just want to make something. <laughs> oh, I have those Harlequins sewn up. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Cut up. Yeah. I also need to teach you how to... Um, hide the thread, right? Hide the thread. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What did I do? I don't know. I don't know either. What's going on here? It doesn't want to come out. Just a minute. What did I do? Super tight right here. In my tension disc. All right, just a minute. All right. When I first thread the machine, I try to use the thread. I could do it won't do it with the thicker. I don't think it'll do it with the thicker thread. Well, I thought, I thought, well, this is silly. Why don't I just put the thread through myself? Yeah, it's a lot easier. <laughs> it's so much easier. I don't understand those threaders either. I'm like, I, I'll just do this myself. Yeah. Hello from Canada. Are you sure you don't want that extension cable? They're saying. Like you need it you have to hold it up. Yeah, I might need it actually. Okay. Good thinking, Carol. Oh, I'm sorry, Martha Jane. Anyway, scary. <laughs> she looked at me like. Is she sitting right under me? She's kind of behind you. She looked at me just now, like, excuse me. <laughs> See, it's looping on the back. This is just a basting stitch, so it's not that. 
yeah. big of a deal. But do you see how it's looping on the back? So I'm not sure what that means. Does anybody know what that means? Do I need to tighten or loosen something? Let me refret it. I wonder if I need to loosen the top. It seems yeah, I mean, pretty it's tight. It's cranked all the way tight because that's the only way I could get it not to loop on the jelly or the clear vinyl. So we'll loosen that a little. Okay. Lift the press foot. Tighten the top. The top part Decrease is the presser foot tension. Okay. I'll decrease it. So to decrease, I want to go left. Probably. Probably. I haven't used it yet. I've left it where it came. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to decrease my pressure. Pressure. Blah, blah, blah. My foot. Tighten tension, they're saying. Okay. Just kidding. It was already really tight, though. It wasn't. Oh, it it was like at three. Oh, okay. I keep mine around two to three. <laughs> Gypsy woman, do you sew with um, the Tex 45 thread? Does it just slide? Yeah, it should. I may have to move. Whoa. Whoa, watch out for my swig. There we go. <laughs> Save the swig. <laughs> I gotta put the thread behind the thread cone behind it needs to go to the right. Does that work? I've never put this on, so <laughs> sorry for the sounds. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> Yikes. Oops. <laughs> sorry about that. There we go. That back in. You know what? Hmm. Really good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I should use that. You probably should. All right. There we go, everybody. All oh, right. Gypsy uh, sews on vinyl wax canvas with it. Okay. Both those. <clears throat> um, she says the thread should be higher than the machine. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's on a thread spool. I don't know how else to get it. Yeah, I don't Because it wouldn't go on that thing up on top. Mm -mm. Do you want me to put it up on, a, I could bring some books in. I mean, I don't know. I have to thread through three guide holes with the Tex 45. Oh, really? I only did the two and I was wondering, I was wondering if it needed to be through all three. Really, why is that? I don't know. Hmm. All right, here we go. Side accent piece. Three guide holes. So we may have to redo that with three. Huh. We might. Let's see how this. Well, I just um, watched that tutorial and it just showed the two, but. And we only have a 9014 needle in, correct? So. Make sure you thread it with a foot up. Yeah. Okay. Gypsy Woman only goes through two. Is that looking any better? Yeah, it did great on that one. Okay. It looks great on that one. Um, Carol, yes, the thread holder extended, is, is extended up. It's up higher than the machine. So the thread's coming up through something way higher than the machine. All right, and then let's see. Well, let's just complete a panel down. Please slip pocket back piece C. Let me get my pocket here. I've got all of my stuff laying over here in the correct order. So it's easy to find them. Okay. So I've got my back slip pocket C. Right side down on top of this. So right sides together along the top edge. All right. Here we go. Lori, that's a, a good point. And she actually, I do have an extra bobbin case so that I can do one for the Tex 45 and one for my quilting. Although I didn't actually even adjust this bobbin case yet at all for the Tex 45. Should I have done something to it? Well, we'll find out. I mean, guys, this is the first 
actual fabric bag that we have sewed on this machine. So learning experience and we have you all here to help. <laughs> I know, it's kind of awesome, It's right? kind of awesome, yeah. All right, I'm sewing this together. This is my slip pocket and my finished panel that I just did. London, Tennessee. A Loudon, Tennessee. Is that a directional fabric? No. None of the fabrics I used for this bag are directional, which is fabulous. Oh, this person uses 70 on upper and bottom. Wow. Really? Oh, Teddy. I wonder if we should shut that door. Yeah, the kids are kind of loud. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Flip. I'm going to see how the stitching is real quick. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, flip the pocket panel back around the back side so both your pieces are now wrong sides together and sew along the top edge. So this is going to be kind of thick right here. I don't know, guys, see, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that handles it. I may have to stop right there. It's a pretty thick seam. Right here, I'm a little worried. Don't be worried. Well, I am. It's just got all of the seams coming together right there. And you have some thread coming. Yay. And that says every new machine takes a few times to fine tune all the same. Yeah. I figured it'd be nice if we did it while I'm here so we could help Susan, figure this out so she can do this on her own. Kathy says get some pliers and squish it down. Uh, I do have the stiletto right there. I don't know if that helps at all. No. Yeah, these Sometimes are how thick that is. It helps to crank through it, it said. You hear that? Yeah. It's working hard. It's working, though. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I might stop before that scene. I just don't know what your machine can handle. Although it's pumping through just fine, but I'm a little nervous right here. Well, I didn't know to be nervous, but I'm nervous now. <laughs> yeah, oof. You like that? Mm -mm. It's dragging, they said. Adjust the pressure. Adjust it to what? Um, Lift it up? I don't know, that comment just went away. But turn the needle instead of using the foot. You gotta use your hand over it. You yeah, that's what I did. No, it, it's okay. Oh, where's the blue line on the presser foot that they're asking? It's, um, so if I'm counting notches from the top, it's one, two, three, four notches down. Should I lift it up more? Maybe. All right. Up higher. Up yeah, higher? Up okay. Higher. Move it up higher. Got it. All right. Um, it actually looks fine in the back. And it handled it. It just looks a tiny bit wonky. But it, it did it just fine. All right. Cool. Yeah, they're all saying almost to the top. Almost to the top. Okay, yeah. so maybe... Maybe just one more up then. Okay, cool. There we go. There is that piece. Now what? Da, 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 da. Top stitch here. Grab, lay, grab outer main panel. Okay. There we go. Outer main panel, lay it right side up, lay your completed panel on top. So right sides along the bottom edge, top stitch your pocket. Stitching, oh, an eighth of the seam. So now we're gonna stitch right here through all of it. Ooh, and that's going to make us two pockets there. 
All right, we can do this. Oh, Teddy. Oh, I fed him this morning, but it's probably time, huh? Okay. All right, so I'm just, yeah, this gets kind of thick. I use thicker material, shoot. Now I'm like, oh, are we gonna be able to do this on your machine? Hopefully we're okay. I don't have to necessarily go all the way to the top either. <laughs> Teddy. He's got the saddest little cry. Every night. Every night. He does that. I'm going to have to trim this down. It's a little too long for some reason. Gypsy woman says, when in doubt, rivet. Except I don't have a rivet press. She does not have a rivet press, people. I debated when I came I'm like should I bring one of my rivet presses like it's okay yeah and that scene just hand crank over the big scene okay um okay let me sorry let me read Okay, here we go. It helps to make the stitch length longer sometimes. But for the fit mm -hmm. on this machine, there's mm -hmm. a... Okay. Here we go. I'm like at a four and a half. Is that long enough? That seems pretty long. Someone's saying even a five if the, if the stitches are... Or it's really thick. Okay. Okay. Let me go take care of a crying dog. Okay. Are you so sad? I'll be here. Okay. Oh, you want to come too? Marla says, I'm a crying dog too. Mm -hmm. You could probably put a little bit more food in her bowl. She might eat it or there's more food in it. Is it in the laundry room? It's in the laundry room. Come on, babies. <laughs> Our little shadows. Susan's got Teddy, I've got Marley. I'm gonna turn it and just come back down and give it that double row of stitching. It went through okay. I think we're all right. Fundraiser for Susan Rivet Press. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. It worked. I think when I'll get home, I'll probably put a rivet right up there. It's my material's a little loose right there. That's okay. This is for me. So it'll be okay. I can fix that on my machine at home. Well, no, I can't because I'm gonna finish putting this back together. <laughs> All right, so now I want to base the rest of this pocket on. Huh? Okay. Did it go through it okay? I mean, yeah, but my other thread right here, look, it's loose. Do you see that? It'll be okay. I can like melt it if I really wanted to. But this bag's just for me, so it'll be okay. It's, fine. it's a learning, I knew this would be a learning experience and it wouldn't be perfect. And that's okay. They're saying if um, if I want to rivet press, I should just shop in your closet. I, <laughs> I do have two. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That's why I was debating. I'm like, do I bring her one? What do 
joy, dude. They're like fundraiser for Susan's Rivet Press. <laughs> That's funny. But I'm like, well, I kind of use both of mine. Oh my gosh. Kaylin just paid four ninety nine towards the Rivet Press. Kaylin, uh, <laughs> that was so nice of you. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe we will be buying your press. That is adorable. I'm like tempted to go up and like right there. Do you guys think I can? I'm not sure what you're saying. You're going to be clicking your mouth like that. <laughs> you want like back and forth right there. Oh. To tack that down and so it's not uh, going to come out. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, we're going to try it. Yes, stitch over it. Yeah, we're going to try it because that's yes. really going to bother me. Ooh. Ooh, this doesn't sound good. It's just struggling through the vinyl. We're okay. It worked. Maybe. See, now this is all tight again. Let's see. What's going on? No, it's not. Okay. I don't know if it wasn't all the way up. <laughs> Okay. I'm like, see? <laughs> Melissa just gave me five dollars. Oh, you guys. <laughs> well, nice. we may be rivet press shopping. Okay. I think she needs one too, guys. All right. I tacked down that thread that was loose, so now I don't have to worry about that. It looks great. Okay. Next step. Next step. Top stitch here. Lay your list, lay your bottom. And Sarah, the one that we met in Tennessee. Oh, gave Sarah, you, $5. you guys. You guys. Oh, Look. she's going to cry. I can hear it in her voice. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, my bottom accent piece. I think I want to put my Saya Swag logo right up here, real quick. Let's do it. center. This is going to be a big daddy, man. Are the doggies both back in? They're saying go up to a needle size 100 would help too. Do you have a 100? I do. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do that because I think it needs to be bigger as well. Like now that we're sitting here sewing, I agree. Yeah, I just bought one actually. All right. We're gonna oh my gosh, Carol. $5. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so she's going to have a rivet press by the end of this video. I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> I'll get her a good one, guys. Oh, Christy just said she told me <laughs> You guys. I guess I'll be doing a show and tell on my rivet press. Ooh, what, uh, um, which one should we get? A cam press, probably. Should get her cam press. Those are the best. Maybe I don't have a hundred. I thought I bought some. Oh, I did. You do? I just bought these at the store. I was going to say, I thought you just got Look, some. I bought these. Top Stitch 116. Yeah, that's what we need. And they're the Oregon. Those are perfect. I just bought these the other day when my needle broke. I don't know if uh -huh. you can see it or not. But. Yeah, that's perfect. She's worth it. She is worth it. Thanks, guys. guys. All right, I'm going to stitch this real quick, and then we'll change the needle. Okay. <laughs> What's the trick? I've done these before. You have to just go. slide it. That's what I thought too. I want to see you do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. She's like, mm -hmm, let me uh -huh. see you do it. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, ten more dollars. <laughs> you guys, that's awesome. Uh, oh All right, God. Susan. You guys. We're going to go shopping for her tonight. And the people at Cam Press are super That's nice, too. And then, and then, you know what else we can get her? What? One of Becky's rivet press boards. Oh. Yes. I think it's Cassie's birthday today. It is Cassie's birthday. Hey, Cassie. Cassie, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. If you watch this later, I don't think you're on here. Ah, uh, another 19 bucks, 20 bucks. Oh my word. Well, everybody wants you to have a rivet press too. Oh my gosh, look at my new neon tag. How cool does that look that on that back? So good. That's 
so perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna put on my bottom accent. Oh, no, wait. Now I'm gonna change my needle. It's just this inside one, this inside yes. screw. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Let's change. Do you wanna save this or trash it? Are you? Well, you tell me. I used How many it, times have you used it? I used it on that bag I made the other day on the video. Oh, that's it? Yeah, yes. you can still use that. Sharon. <gasps> Sharon, you are out of control. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. There's your link, Susan. Go shop. What is happening right go now? Go shop. You're gonna get a rivet press. That's what's happening. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> Good thing you have someone who can show you. Allison, thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> All emotional over She's here. crying. Oh, Fifty-one dollars. <laughs> Christine. She's crying. You guys are making her cry. <laughs> She's <laughs> totally <laughs> crying. <laughs> oh my heavens. People. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> she really is. I may have to turn the camera oh, so you can see her. <laughs> Oh, you guys, thank you. You're all so awesome. Oh. All right, let's put on our bottom panel. <laughs> Stop crying. It's worth it. <laughs> oh. Well, these awesome. strangers are so nice to me. They're like my friends. I know. Isn't that awesome? You realize you have markings on your thing, right? Um, so I didn't know that the 10 meant 3 eighths. Yeah. Right? And, uh -huh. and I didn't trust it because on okay. the my mm -hmm. the needle moves side to side, right? And so I never trust my markings because Got it. I depend on mm -hmm. a stitch. Yeah, so I this is not. this is always true. Okay, yeah, so I, I just didn't realize it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this needle is going through so much better, guys. Yeah, Jake says don't follow the markings. Yeah, I, I can hear it. I could test it. Well, I measured it before I started. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah, she says they're slightly off. They are just slightly off. Okay, I'm regaining myself over here. Are you regaining your composure? We have dogs in the room now. I'm just going to reach over and close the door. Okay. Right? Teddy's in here? Yeah, Teddy's in here. All right. All right. Yep, we have to put a snap in this. Um, we have a snap. Mag not a magnetic snap, like a, you know, a snap. And we are going to have to use a hammer and a tool set because she doesn't have a can press. Not anymore. Not next time. All right. Here we go. They are slightly off. Well, this one seems pretty. This one's okay. All right. And then fold lower accent panel down. Top stitch. Okay, and then I cut box corners on this. Perfect. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is going through the vinyl so much better. I think you definitely need this size when you're bag making. 100. Yeah, especially when you have like vinyl and canvas on here. It is going through a lot easier. Even over that bump, it just went through pretty well. Chrissy said she's learned so much from you. Um, and it makes it putting, putting together bags much easier to have all the right tools. Yeah, it really does. Agreed. You gotta get the right tools for the job. Jira's loving the fabric combo. Thank you. Oops. Elizabeth's just um, joining us. Hello, Elizabeth from Hi, New Elizabeth. York. Hi, Elizabeth. And Emilida. I don't know if I'm saying Emilida. I don't know how to. Um, Emilida. Um, Please correct us because we just did um, a bad job. Uh, Emil. 
Amelda. Um, Amelda. We're probably butchering that. But it's beautiful. But it's beautiful. Yeah. It's probably like my name where nobody knows how to say it. Yeah. It's really pretty, though. Yeah? Oh, it's Emily. <laughs> she says it's Emily. <laughs> <laughs> wow well, look at da, us da, da, da. oh just as a side note on this bag i used the um self-adhesive fleece the the where you peel and stick fleece from fabric therapy and it was kind of amazing do you have a smaller ruler i only have like a little square okay, cool. one she needs more rulers too i brought I this for you I have a square one. Because I wasn't sure if you had this. Where's the pen I had out? I don't know. Mm. I have some murky pens right now. I just need a pen. Do you just have a pen oh, pen? I don't think so. I have a pen pen. Where did I put it? Uh, all right, bet. Perfect. All right, I got to cut out the squares real quick. Dina just joined the thread. Aw, welcome to the group. Yeah, we're getting ready to do some fun stuff. Yep. Um, yeah, they're all talking about how they bought all sorts of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to have the tools, right tools for whatever job you're doing. Right. Same goes for bag making. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Mm. All right, Emily. That's a lot easier. Well, Emily. Whew. You should have just let us suffer a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you should have just been I'm like, still, sure. I was feeling pretty terrible. Uh, all right, guys, there's my front panel. Yay! That looks so awesome. That's exciting. Okay, set that aside. Next up, what are we doing? <laughs> Elizabeth says, I don't have a small ruler. Maybe I accidentally left it in your closet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go get it. <laughs> Hey, now. <laughs> I don't know when the next time we'll be to her closet. Uh, uh, right side up, my one full pocket lining piece. Okay, pocket lining piece. Right side up on top of this. Hello, Karen. Right side up. Right, no. Yeah, right side up. And then one full pocket lining piece. Okay. And that is right side down, which this is that Lux nylon. So I don't know what's right side up and right side down on this stuff. I don't think it really matters. All right. Here we go. Let's make our back zipper pocket. Um, oh, thank you. We are, it is fun to have a sister team for sure. Mm hmm. <clears throat> go, go, Power Rangers. Okay. Let me see. Inches and. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know what to do. He saw, I don't know what's wrong either. He's fussy in the evening. <laughs> like a little baby. He is. He gets fussy. He's a little baby. Uh, well, it doesn't matter which way I lay this ruler. Okay. Sorry, I'm just measuring out my zipper box here. And then she gives you some good... Right there. You had a great time at Kathy's house. Oh my gosh. I love Kathy. Every time I see like something of hers pop up, I'm like, oh, it's Kathy. <laughs> She was so fun. All right, I think that is. Okay, we are going to, let's see, that's why this ruler is not my favorite. It doesn't have a half inch line going. Oh, Teddy. Is it that sad? I don't know if you guys can hear his little whine. It's just so sad. He he sits and he stares at me. Mm -hmm. And he stares me down. And if I don't respond soon enough, he starts squinting at me. <laughs> Have you seen him do the squint? No, I haven't seen him do the, the squint. Best. Oh my goodness. It's the best. He's like, I'm looking at you. 
How long have you been sewing? Dina, I've been sewing quite a while. Um, bag making, I started doing little pouches and totes like, gosh, that was 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. And then actual like more extensive bag making was probably four, four to five years ago I started really getting into it. And then, yeah, and then that just turned into this, which is insane. Oh my gosh, someone's dog is actually whining and talking with Teddy right now. Oh my goodness. Teddy. Teddy doesn't want me to actually sit in this chair ever. Is that part of it? Kitchen? No, I don't want something. You want bone? Did he eat, I wonder? I don't know, I gave him food. I wish you guys could see him. He's sitting like a statue, just staring at me. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you ladies are going to sew in New York. I live in this beautiful Hudson Valley and have a huge sewing room. Perhaps you could be the incentive I need to clean and organize it. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been to New York. Never? Huh? Never. I haven't really done the East Coast much besides Florida and North Carolina. Yeah, Elizabeth will definitely make it to New York. We're not sure when or what part, but for sure. Mm -hmm. It almost would be nice to sew somewhere upper state New York where it's beautiful and then take a trip down. And then down still to the take city. a trip down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, it would. I would like to see a Broadway play. I'm Me just too. Or maybe the New York Philharmonic. Oh, I can. I don't know no, you won't like that, but I'm going to go. I, that's fine. I can go shopping while you, <laughs> you do that. You can go shopping. I don't care about that. That's fine. All right. I'll be back in a while. How do I like sewing on it? It's going really, really nicely. I like it a lot. Um, This is fleece. Sorry, did I say foam? This is the fleece, the self-adhesive fleece. I might have said foam. It is fabric therapy. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna cut this out. I am just gonna use scissors this time. She's got her awesome Kai scissors here that she got when she went to Paducah from the Kai booth. if the iron is heated up. I'm gonna push this through. I'll meet you there. We can see the Philharmonic. Oh, Jade, I'll tell Susan. <laughs> she went out to deal with dogs for a minute. <laughs> she would love that so much. For sure. Hi from Tracy from Maine. Welcome. Jade said she'll meet you in New York and you guys could do the Philharmonic together. Oh my gosh. I'm teasing. You don't mean it. Oh, funny. Okay. And then I'm pulling a piece in the back. Is that hot? I need to use it. Okay, chat with them while I iron. Okay, let me pull up the thing. All right, sorry, I'm not showing you the iron. It's just over here on a different table. It's very exciting. It's so exciting. She's got this cute, tiny little wool mat. Perfect. Karen's daughter is a music major and taught band and choir for years and is now the principal. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Elizabeth is just an hour north of the city. Okay. Jade, I'm gonna take you up on it, girl. I love how people just invite us to their 
She's like, come to my house. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Hi from Texas, Talisa. Um, Washington State. Um, so Terry, this is a new machine. This is, we're at my house um, mm -hmm. right now in southern Utah. She came for just a couple days. Her kids are starting school next week and they haven't seen my kids in a while. So, um, anyways, super fun and we thought, well, Here why we not so? Here we are. It's breaking the new machine. Yep, yep, yep. Because everyone has their sister come breaking the new machine for them, right? <laughs> Um, yes, out of the knee lift and the table. I still haven't put any stickers on it. Do you see that it's naked? Mm hmm That's okay. You are, don't need stickers on it. Are you sad it. that I didn't put a sticker on it? Am I sad? Yeah. No. I don't care. One of these days I might. I mean, okay. I'm not judging your stickerless machine. <laughs> Thank you. Mm hmm Do you have skinny tape? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Ask me where I got that. My closet. It's true. I was wondering. I'm like, I wonder. I brought you a whole roll, but then I see you have a whole roll sitting down here. I'm like, oh no, she got some last time. <laughs> sure did. Okay, that's good. You gave it to me. You said take this. Yeah, I'm sure I did. No, I believe you. And I said, okay. You said, I sure will. Lisa, it's working great. This is the first time making something heavy duty on it. Yeah, we are just trying to figure out what combinations work best and all that kind of good stuff. And everybody on here is being so helpful. It's awesome. I'm debating getting like a machine just like this as well. So it's fun to play on it. If you do, let me know if you need help. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Sarah said it took her two years to put her first sticker on, too. Oh, uh -huh. it's okay. Well, Sarah, now I have to know what sticker friend did it for you. Yeah, what was it? Oh, Sandy's is stickerless, too. That's fine. You guys don't need stickers, but... Well, I feel like eventually I do. Eventually, but you got to wait to know what to... speaks to you. That's the thing. I need to know the personality I know. of the machine. I know. I, I know how you are. I can't with stickers. I know. Susan, I know oh. this. I know this. <laughs> Dina makes about a thousand microwavable bowl cozies a year. Wow. And that's why um, she purchased the 2010 and she loves it. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. Do you sell those? Yeah, a thousand bowl cozies a year. Tell us why. Tell, Tell us. us you happening. have an Etsy shop. Like, what's going on with the bowl cozies? Or do you just Or do you really to like to drink warm soup? Because that would do it. I bet she sells it. <laughs> I bet she does too. Or craft fairs or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, Sarah's first sticker says, sorry I can't. I'm busy sewing. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jade's stickers are zero commitment stickers because they don't leave any residue. See? And are repositionable. <gasps> I, most of mine come off. Really? Like when I'm ready to change them, they don't like stay on there. A lot of them are like the kind that you can take off. Really? I may have to rethink this. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. I feel like I have to put a side swag sticker first. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of offended if you don't. Honestly. I have all the um, thread. I have all the mm -hmm. Patreon stickers. You can at least put one. Yeah, I probably should. Just slap one of those ones I sent you there to turn out stickers. Oh, yeah. Jade sent me, just sent me those stickers. Oh, there you go. Should put a heart with a knife. Should Jade's be the first one? I mean, she, she did make you it. your first personalized tags. Um, Jade, I think maybe... Maybe I should put you and Sia Swag on at I'm the like, same time. I should be a little offended, but I'm not. It's fine. <laughs> She goes, no, you should put Sia Swag on her. <laughs> She's like, oh, crap. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's fine. You can try one of the Heartwood Night ones if you want. She says, no, Sia Swag's the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. All right, guys, by the end of this video, I'm going to put my first sticker on. Oh. Now that I know I can take it off, I don't love it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you can. I've I've taken off. Oops, my thing got caught right there. I've taken off many stickers off my machine and put new ones on. 
Emma is gathering materials for her first bag. Yay! I make totes, embroidery, I'm about to go deep. Emma, yes, do it. Yes, do it. You do will it. never return. Sharon's first sticker was a size swag sticker. Oh, I love that, guys. It looks like you have to just hand crank through the zipper ends. Well, that works, I guess, right? Yeah, it works. Is it just when it does that sound thing, you know? Mm-hmm. It struggles going through the zipper. Well, and again, I have thicker material. Right. If you were just doing cotton, it may be a little bit different. Oh, hi, Mona. Sheeple 512 is Mona. I probably yep. learned that. Hi, Mona. And hi, hello from Hawaii. Yay. It is a Juki TL210. Cute. Did I say it all right? Uh, yes. Good job. Oh my god! Like I don't even know I what it that's is. The first time I did it. Good job. Oh, someone just got a Marley May sticker. Yay! Yay! Marley May, she's in here chewing a bone. She's very happy. I got both the dogs a bone. And now we're good. All right. We got our back zipper on. Do you see how pretty that is? It's pretty. Look at your your machine is doing so good. All right, we're going to put our... It might be the person that's using it. <laughs> no. I'm going to put our back piece on. And we will baste that on. Christy missed some of the video because her husband called. Oh, how dare he? Does he not know what's going on right now? It's so rude. <laughs> that's funny. Lisa has Marley Bay on her machine, too. She Yay. Says, definitely my cutest sticker. Oh, Marley May. I don't think I have a Marley May sticker. You don't? Isn't that sad? That is sad. I think Abigail has Marley May stickers. She does. <laughs> Marley May stickers are my favorite. She really is the cutest ever. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Nancy has four size bag stickers on her team. Oh my goodness, Nancy. I love it. I'm honored. Sharon, do you have any hobbies? I'm not sure who you're asking. <laughs> you're looking at it. <laughs> this is her hobby. Yeah, it is. Susan's is music. Tell my Abigail that her Abigail is sitting up a boxy high. She is a, a boxy Abigail. Oh, that's right. That's so hot. That's, that's so awesome. So uh huh. I love that. Christine did her first posting on your Facebook page. Yay! Uh, oh, her Facebook page. Everyone's so nice. Uh huh. Oh, I see. I cut the thread. Why did you want to do that? I didn't want to. <laughs> How embarrassing. How embarrassing. I knew that would happen eventually. It's because I put my shoe back on. I need to take my shoe off. Oh. Shoe coming off. All right. Now it should just pick up the bobbin thread, right? I shouldn't have to. I don't know. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it did. You haven't done that yet? While you've been I sewing? I split all the way out. I get the thread back up. Even I haven't actually done it. I mean, you haven't still oh, cut it yet? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I mean, that's good. How do I get stickers for my sewing machine? Do you ship thread to Canada and do you include stickers? Yes. And yes and yes. I need to reorder. We go through stickers like... No one's business. You know, Emily, I don't have the black rubber stopper on. I actually didn't see it in the package. I wonder if it got thrown away. Hmm. I didn't see it in everything. Oh, yeah. There's a thing that you can put on it, right? I, I never saw it. Everyone said there was one, but I didn't see it. Hmm. Back panel, I just need to add. Man, this tote's gonna be huge. Elizabeth, she did put the knee lift on and I have not done it yet. Nope. 
She has not. She's just trying to get it all situated. I'm just working out the kinks for her making a bag so she won't struggle the first time she goes to make something. Oh, girl, you know I'm going to struggle when I try to make something. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> You've done so good with this one, doing the jelly bags. Yeah. I just yeah. Like, you did the... good. Don't, don't sit here and like... No, I'm just saying, I'm going to struggle just because like reading the pattern and knowing what it's asking me to do, I'm still not there. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, like but that's you, what videos are for. When you say do this and this, I'm like, got it. Well, that's what videos are for. Yeah. I know somebody who does tutorials. Or I could just call you and say, tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I know you already put all the time to making a video, but just tell me what to do. Uh-huh. I would. Uh-oh. What happened? Did I run out of bobbin already? I think I ran out of bobbin already. How many did we wind? Two. I think that's a take one. I need to do another one. How does this work? Do we have to take the extension off? Well, I'm guessing this is here so you can. Ah, um, yeah, okay. see? Yeah. So you can pop it up. Yeah, your I forget your bobbins are smaller than mine. Uh, well, if I was I doing this on my industrial, it would be like one and a half. So we may have to wind one more. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have to wind one I'm more. I'm pretty much a professional at winding bobbins. I will let you do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> mm. My nails are too long. I have passed the point of getting my nails done. I was supposed to have them done yesterday, but I had to cancel my appointment because I came here instead. Oh, I canceled my nail appointment. nail appointment. I sure did. That's a big deal. Sure did. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it is awkward loading it with the table on, but we did it. We did it. Finish this. Yeah, thank you guys. I I appreciate the compliments on my sewing of the bag. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that I did terrible. It's just I was just trying to say that reading and understanding all the different pieces and what it's telling me to do. It's a different language because you're used to reading sewing or quilting. Right, totally instructions yeah. and clothes making, right? You've made clothes. Bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Bag making terms are a little different. Just take some, some practice. Yep. Yeah. I love that sticker. Me too. I'm totally off on. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I need to go slower. Oh, that's what's happening. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, yep. It got caught it up can, here. That can go higher, too, if that helps. Uh, dang it. I don't like that, guys. I don't like that at all. It just got caught for a minute. All right, we're okay, but dang it. Now, do I unstitch and redo? It'll make me happier. It'll make me happier. It sure will. I can, I can hear it in your voice. You can hear it. It's not that big of a deal, but I can't. I can't do it, guys. We know. <laughs> Everyone knows. Uh, Christy Lee says, I'm cutting out the Gaviata by Shambhala Bags. Oh, yeah. I love your video and this bag so much. I made a few already with Tula Pink Cotton and Anna Maria Fabric. Oh, you should. Have you posted those on the group? I want to see. That's a good bag. 
I just, I love Shambhala patterns. You see they go together really nicely. They do. Uh, also, so Kathy of KDL Handmade, who made this pattern, she and like, I don't know, six or seven other of us small businesses have gotten together and we are doing a box for So Girly Fun. She did an unboxing on her channel, if you guys uh, uh -huh, want to watch it. K Dale Handmade, her channel. It has thread from me. It has a zipper pull from New Moxie. It's got all sorts of awesome, awesome things to make a new pattern that she came up with and it is included in the box. It's going to be so fun. And I think it goes on sale September 14th. And yours truly will have a video out making the pattern from the box. And Susan's getting one too. And I'm going to make her sew one up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So go check that out if you haven't. That's cool. Someone says, how do you order that? Um, it'll be on the So Girly Fun website. And I'm sure if you're on Facebook, if you go join her group, I'm sure she will have all the updates there on her group as well for that. But it will be totally worth it. The material is adorable. The pattern is awesome. For all of us 80s, 90s kids, you guys are going to love it. Oh, I'm so glad I redid that. Do you feel better? I feel better, guys. Happy for you. <laughs> it was all wonky and bleh. Jadira, who's doing the box? So girly fun. So girly fun. I'll put it in here. So girly fun. And then there's things from me. From New Moxie, from So Stitch and Cold, from, oh, I know I'm gonna forget someone. Um, who else is in that box? I'm not sure. The pattern's from K Dale Handmade. And then the material that's included, the material for the bag is all custom material that Susie from So Girly Fun drew up and it is just adorable. It is so good. So definitely go check that out. Oh, so much better, you guys. That, oh, look at that, top stitching. That looks so good. Are you so glad you ripped that yes, out? Yes, I'm so glad I ripped that out. Oh, it's worth the five minutes sometimes. Say it's worth it. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I took you to that concert. Remember that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Traumatized Susan by taking her to the Pussycat Dolls and Christina Aguilera. <laughs> I didn't know who those people were. I'm like, what are She's we like, doing? what are we watching? <laughs> I'm like, it's fun. I have to wash my eyes out. I think I had my eyes covered at one point. Oh, you I'm did. Like, I so like, whoa. <laughs> It was so enjoyable watching you squirm. <laughs> I'm so glad you got some enjoyment out of that. <laughs> she just said, come to a concert with me. I was at her house. It was a free concert. Somebody had tickets. I said, okay. And the opening act, I thought, who are these people and what are they doing on stage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We are done with the front and back panels. And now we want to attach our handles. Of course, I have checkered webbing. Mama says that kind of reminds her of old school vans. Yes, absolutely. 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 Hello from Brisbane, Australia. Nope, yeah, Australia. That's awesome. All right. Sorry, I'm reading measurements here. Line edge at, okay. Here we go. You're doing a nice job. <gasps> thank you. That was just me telling you. That. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you, thank you. 
I've never made this bag before. Do you think the kids have started their pizzas? No, nope, they're just gonna all of a sudden be starving. Okay. Should I go for the other one? I don't know. They're okay. They're the kids okay. asked us right after we finished taking them. <laughs> we took them this morning to an arcade and go-karts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we took him to lunch. Mm -hmm. And on our way home from lunch, mm. Marcus. Marcus said, What's for dinner? My dad? dude. And we both went, Oh. He's just always thinking about his tummy. He says, What's for dinner? And well, I said, I'm a oh. growing 12 year old boy and I'm always freaking hungry. <laughs> Give me more food. Okay. Paul has been wanting to ask which one of us is the oldest and how many kids are in our family. Mm. What do you think? Mm hmm. I'm older than her by two years and some change. Mm -hmm. We have two older brothers and a partridge in a pear tree. Mm -hmm. She is the baby. I am the baby. Which tracks, doesn't it, everyone? Excuse me. No, I just, it does. Rude. You're the perfect caboose. Oh. Far from perfect, but... <laughs> and that's why you're perfect. <laughs> I am the least perfect out of the bunch. <laughs> nope, that's not true. You're perfect to me. Oh, well. Okay. All right, where's my other one? Here it is. Here it is. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for this bag, you guys. <laughs> Uh, it was for you, right? Yes, I'm going to keep this one. I designed this with me in mind. I'm like, I need a big tote for my trips. And this is... Oh, I hear lots of feet come up. I do too. I think they they're finally hungry. hungry. Are you guys hungry? We're watching you live. You are? Yeah. Hey, if you're getting hungry, you should start preheating the oh, oven. Yeah. Do you know how to do it? You remember? Push, is it Push. at 450? Yeah, no, 425. You need to say bake. 425, start. Wow. Sorry. And <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. We're raising ogres over here. Okay. The ibuprofen, is it in your kitchen? Oh, you know what? I forgot. Yep, let me get it. So we preheated it at 425. I'll just cut it out. Are you sure? Thank you. Yep. Sorry. No, it's all right. I thought you took some, honey. I didn't. Okay. I think we got distracted and did something else. Okay. Yeah, I think we went and got swig instead. I think we did. Yeah. I'm getting hot. Can you turn on the fan? Yes, I Is it hot in here? It is. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's just me now and the dogs. Let's finish this exterior. This is actually going fairly fast, too, this bag. The instructions are fabulous. She did a great job laying this pattern out. And for those of you wondering, the, the video where I cut this out, it's all done with measurements. So those of you who like cutting just for measurements, this is the bag for you. All right. Okay, I am done with my two. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. My front and back are all done. Let's move to our lining. I'm pretty sure, let me double check here. Um, oh no, now we're gonna assemble those together. Okay, perfect. Here we go. I may have to move this out just a little and just a little like that. All right, take them right sides together. Clip along bottom edge. Here we go. Hi from Indiana. Um, you're not that late. How far in are we? I don't even know. We are, well, 89 minutes, but I just finished the exterior panel and then we're gonna go to the lining. I'm just piecing the exterior panel pieces together right now. All right. Is this plate for the 10, the three eighths pretty true? It was pretty accurate. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but. Okay. Now, right? They're good. Yeah. Okay. Here we go.
Hi, Linda from Wisconsin. Welcome. Lena from Indiana. Yep. Um, Janine's been learning a lot of tips from you and Tori from Seems Legit here in Australia. Awesome. Tori's awesome. Okay, and then pending, press seams open. Lay your bottom stabilizer, center it over the seam, flip over top stitch, make the bottom side, add other rows of stitching or box along stabilizer for decoration. Okay. Guys, do we think, yeah, this machine can handle going through the stabilizer for sure. So I am going to, we're gonna tape this on. You're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna do it. Whoops. Samantha had a rough morning with her son taking the rabbits to the county fair. So now she's oh, got my word. And so in Castle Yes. Do it. <clears throat> Lake cared. I know, because the picture, did you see the picture I posted? No. It's the only one I had of us from this weekend was at the lake. Oh, gosh. That's a terrible picture. Sorry. <laughs> I'll change it when we're done to oh, something fine. else. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, it hi, was a great hi Barb from Arizona. It was beautiful. Lake. It was a great lake day. It was exactly what I wanted. The weather was perfect. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was fabulous. Love the handles. Thank you. Gosh, I'm wondering if I should. Okay, just, I'm going to take this seam down or else I'm gonna be fighting this. But I'm gonna try and keep my tape out of my stitch hey. line hey. here. Hey. What's him growling at? Marley May. Marley May's under the bed. He hates that. Uh -huh. Marley May goes under all the beds and she knows Teddy can't go and fit under there. Just and Teddy just sits there and growls. Out here. Like, excuse me? You're in my house? Sorry, Teddy. She's used to hiding from Oakley under things. It's so hot in Texas. Oh, oh it's God. hot here, too. Oh, it is not. Oh, my gosh. We you the are, funniest conversation you are delusional. <laughs> the funniest conversation. She's delusional, guys. She's lived in heat for too long this morning she said let's take the dogs for a walk before it gets too hot it's gonna get up to 100 today yeah and i said and i said it's only gonna get up to 100 no. and she goes what did she goes no it's gonna be 100 i'm like well around here we say it's only gonna be 100 well around here you guys are crazy <laughs> hello from kentucky corbin kentucky Dad, you won't be in Florida. That's so magical. I'm flying there. Never been. You're gonna love it. Yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Sorry, it's uh, the week before. I have committed to a wizardry Texas retreat, and I just can't do two weekends in a row with kids and dogs and all that kind of good stuff. Ooh, it's 117 there. See, see where? I don't know where. Well, that's why I don't live in Texas either, or Arizona. There's a reason I live in Colorado. You're gonna come here eventually. Nope. Yep. Nope. I think we should all take a boat and whatever wins. <laughs> that's, where that's where I'm moving. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do you think she should move to St. George and be near me? And bring her closet full of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna go along this checkered for my, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not, guys? Why not? Let's do it. I'm going to. And then I'll kind of measure how far out that was. How far out was that? About an inch and a eighth. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I'm just trying to attach my stabilizer. Hopefully I'm not sewing through tape. I don't think I am. I have. In these handy things, I have some things to clean up if I need it. Okay. 
Yeah, Decafil um, Light sometimes gums up your needle. So. So part of Utah, Southern petty. Utah. Southern, hot, hot Utah. Melting in Arizona. Mm -hmm. You guys, come to Colorado. 92 in Mississippi. Oh gosh, but I bet that's oh, like with humidity. It's gross. You know, I complain about Colorado in the winter, but man, I love it in the summertime. Christy Lee says the babies of the family are the best. Yay, Christy's a baby too. We learn from the older siblings and we are the craziest plastic ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yes, Elizabeth, her closet would be so much easier to shop in if she lived nearby. <laughs> I feel like she doesn't even consider me when she makes these life decisions. <laughs> so sorry. So rude. So rude. How dare I? You know what's funny is she's the one that left me in, in Colorado. She lived in Colorado, and I moved to Colorado to live with her. And guess who decided to move away? So the fact that she's saying I left her. Oh, she got me. Yeah. She left me years ago, people. Years ago. <laughs> well, you got married and just left me. And you got married and left me. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did it to each other. Yeah. It's never been the same since. Nope. Hi, Debbie Snapsetter. Thank you for your support. All right. I just didn't even sew down my seam allowance, but I taped it down and then I sewed a rectangle box. So it is got my stabilizer on there. Whoop. Look at that. That looks good. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that cool? All right, so that's that. And then I think How I the need to- of your bags look as pretty as the front? Can we talk about um, that? Blame it on the men. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said <laughs> Totally blame the men. Um, okay, so now we need to sew the rest of our bag together, I think. Let me double check. Sew up the sides. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, Barbara from Melbourne, Australia. Okay, okay. We're gonna sew up these sides, guys. Hi. Okay. I know the checkers actually matched up pretty dang good. Magic. 86 degrees in southwest Idaho, just outside of Boise. Yeah. Oh, I know someone who just moved to that area, like Meridian or something. Yep, that's Boise. Does anyone else have a piecing potion while cutting or sewing? Then lose it. <laughs> yes. All the time. All right, here we go. I thought we were almost ready to go to lining, but. Jean, we hi, are Jean. not. Hi, Jean. She says 105 and Tucson. Love you guys. And that is why I'm not visiting till Thanksgiving. Jean <laughs> is our sister in law. Hello, Jean. We won't be coming your way until it is cooled off. Well, no difference to me. Yeah, I know. Danielle, Susan, are you coming to the Wizardry Getaway in September? <gasps> I am. She is. I've heard such great things about it. I'm really excited, and I actually get to be a student and sew. Mm -hmm. okay. This bag is the Road Tripster Tote from K. Dale Handmade. Danielle, I'll try to be on my best behavior, but I Nah. Mm -mm. She needs to get some bags practiced on her machine before she comes to that. Yeah, I do. Stephanie, she's using a Teflon foot. It's a 
There's probably an exact name for it. It's a tough one, but... But there's probably, like, a size or something. But mm -hmm. It's, a, it's a skinnier one. Yeah. I'm going to do a second row of stitching by that row just to help my stitches not pull when my bag is turned out. Of 40 years moved her on to 30 acres in a rural area away oh. from our grandkids and others. <gasps> if I didn't love him, I'd be uh. out of here. Maybe near you in the closet shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Stephanie, did that come with your machine? Um, hmm. No. So, I bought it from Wizardry Show and Stitchery that. or Geeky Hardware, mm -hmm. and she put together these kits of feet for all the Jukies that you can purchase. And I think she's going to be offering them on her site, on her website. Show them the, maybe you should show them the big old thing of. It's right to your right, actually. It's in that little cabinet to your right on the, on the shelf. Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it, honey. There she goes. Oh, you talk nice to her, she likes that. Yeah. You just gotta talk nice to your machines. They hear you. There you go. Come on, baby. She did it. She got over those humps. Um, if you go to Susan's unboxing, oh, no, look. It did not go through. If you go to Susan's unboxing video on my channel, she also shows all the feet that she got. All right, we're gonna have to go through this again. And maybe it didn't wanna catch the bottom thread. Okay, that's all right, let's try this again. And we'll go a little bit longer with our stitching. Lena says, how do you like sewing on the chicken compared to your machine? Oh my gosh. The, I mean, guys. <laughs> I feel like your hand is about to get caught inside it. Whoa. How oh. much is the pizza going for? What does the box say? Oh, we don't know. Read the directions in the back of the box. Okay. Is Molly trying to get... No. Sorry for the doors opening, guys. I can't tell if this is working or not. Um, so this is a great option for those of you who can't have a whole industrial machine set up, but there's no comparison to sewing on an industrial. Like I wouldn't be having issues like this on my industrial. So while it is good and it's a great option because Susan can't have a permanent machine set up, she needs to have something she can put away. So that's why this was a great option for her. And we wanted a machine that we could take places. All right, I'm going to do a second row of stitching. Hopefully that one was better. I think. What's the name of the tool you use to help nope. move the presser foot along on the thick fabric? No. Nope. Are you talking about a stiletto or are you talking about something else? It is not wanting to go through right here. Well, guys, any ideas? Any ideas? Oh, a hump jumper. Okay. Oh, yeah. I cannot get it to sew through right here. Is there a big seam right there? Um, it's not huge, which is why I'm not really understanding why it's skipping. Maybe I'll go up more with my foot. I don't really know what else we can do. Besides hand crank it, maybe? Maybe I should just... Can you whack the seams? What does that mean? Oh, uh, like flatten them. Oh, I thought you meant like smack them. Christine, need oil, Susan? Oh, you know what? I do need oil because we did the, we changed up the bobbin. I need to put oil in it next time we get in there. Mm -mm. Oh, I just saw on like a 
Sorry, guys. Should I try oil in it? Do you think that's... I think it worked that time. I just kind of hand cranked it along. Okay. Um, is the needle sticky? I'm going to check. Let's check some things here. Let's make sure. Oh, this came out here. That's supposed to be in there. I'm like, what is going on? There's got to be something. The rest of that looks good. My needle is not sticky. Angie, yes, we're using size 45, text 45 mm -hmm. in the top and the bobbin. All right, I'm going to do my second row right next to that. That took me way too long. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's right there. You can hear it. Can you hear it? Okay, we quote studio says I usually put the foot put down the foot, then loosen pressure to like pull fabric out, then tighten it like two or three half turns. And that's how tight it should be. I don't know. What? I think I actually understood that. Really? Okay. What's happening to me? You're becoming one of us. <laughs> it's happening. Yep, it didn't it didn't get it right here. Shoot, guys, it's right in this thickness. It's the zipper. And I even did only one zipper tab right there. I will try it one more time. One more, one more time. And then I may have to go to the lining because have a hundred sixteen needle in and did that work did that work I, I, we're there I hand cranked it over the whole thing yep we're good okay done so when I go out hand crank yep so a second line that's the first line yep did that turn back right side out oh I gotta wait wait I gotta box my corners guys Sorry, this is taking longer than I wanted to. There's something wrong with a thread. It should not be struggling like that. Okay, well. Did we spread it? I'm like, well, you know, I could do it through all three of these like someone suggested. Should I try that? Someone said they go through all three of these. What do you think, people? What do you think? We could do that. Um, I really uh -huh. think it was the, the thickness right there. Honestly. Jason's on here. Our brother's on here being very helpful. <laughs> he says, I think you need some ball bearings and a little 30 wow. weight oil. Wow, thanks, Jay. Thanks, Why didn't Jason. we think of that? Thank you, Jay. Okay. Yeah, I still understand. Try it. To thread, re-thread the top? Well, I think it was the thickness, guys. I really do. Okay. Um, if I continue to have that issue, then I will... Rethread that top. Size bag. It's huge. Are you so happy? Uh huh. I'm gonna love it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think it was the. I think it was the layers, guys. All right, here we go. Let's just do these bottom boxed corners. These oh, Chrissy uses Teflon blending sheet on the plastic table extension. There's a drag coming from somewhere. Oh, I'm 
sorry to hear that, Sydney. Um, she has this machine and it struggles going through the two layers of webbing for dollars. Mm, really she needs an industrial. Yeah, two layers of webbing. That's about A bigger needle with bigger hole won't let the thread get thrown around. I don't know what that means. It probably means something. It means they want you to go up um, a size in the needle. Can you go up another size? Is that a thing for this machine? I don't know. We just put a hundred in. I'm not sure how needle sizing works on this one. Sorry, I'm just boxing my corners. You can't really see this, but. It's working fine now. I'm pretty sure it was the layers, guys. sticky on this particular extension table too. Well, I didn't have vinyl up next to it. Oh. It was all... I'm just thinking for me in the future. Like maybe yeah. Maybe get one of mm -hmm. those lighting sheets. Mm -hmm. You need Teflon sheets for ironing anyways. What? Yeah, for you to press. Is that an Amazon thing? That is an Amazon. I have it on my Amazon list. Oh, do you now? I do. We're exhausted. We don't have to do the whole thing. This may take well, a while. Sit in a recliner, so. All right. I mean, it just, I still have the whole lining to go. Yeah. You know, that's how you just throw thread everywhere. <laughs> I know. I told Susan, I'm like, do you have a trash can? What do you want me to do? She's like, it's fine. Just I do, but it. I've seen that you just. Used to I do. It, I'm so. sorry. No, I didn't want to make you have to think about it. I. That's just a bad habit. A thread thrower, people. I am a thread thrower. Deal with it. Um, how adorable is oh, that? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's do the lining. Um, that's going to be cute. Here we go. Let's work they on. Love it. They love it. The okay. Love it. Okay. Okay. Swivel. Class. If you need me to start playing the ukulele for you, it seems very well. On the D-ring. You know what? I only have, um, I don't have a, hopefully this one's good. And then we have that. Okay, here we go. It turned out good. I got the stitching to work. We're fine. We're we're rocking and rolling. I'm just going to make a little thing for the clip. It has a swivel clip on the inside. It's not needed. You don't have to do it. This is an extra. I'm just top stitching down both sides here. <laughs> Jason says three snaps. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you're cracking yourself up today. Mm -hmm. Jason, did you get your recliner chair? My brother was looking for a recliner chair. All right, I'm just gonna add this one in there and do them both together. See everything okay? Yeah. Is the view it's okay? View. Mm -hmm, it's good view. Okay. There's like a three pack of them that I get. The Amazon Choice three pack. Mm-hmm. I see it. You see it? 
see that's just what you need. All right. And there is my swivel snap. And I'm like, I don't have to add the D-ring. What is this? Where do we go with this? Let me look real quick. Real quick, real quick. Is this to connect stuff to? Where's your vinyl from again? Uh, my vinyl is from, yeah, I don't need the D-ring. I'm not gonna do the D-ring one. My vinyl is from um, Zipper Valley, I believe. All right. Stitch one fine, turn through. Oh my goodness, I am not turning this through. Are you kidding me? Kathy, I do not want to turn this through. That's going to be impossible. I'm not doing it. We're going to do something else. <laughs> not doing it. Not doing it. What foot are you using on Juki? It's a thin Teflon foot. Yep, skinny Teflon. We are doing this differently, guys, because I am not turning this small piece through. Just not. Just not. Just not, and I don't need that on both sides. This is just for the tablet sleeve tab. So I'm just going to kind of fold it in evenly like this. Yep. This is what we're doing. Oh, come on, tape. And then we won't have any, actually, I mean, honestly, I could leave this raw edged because it is canvas. I Jill, I got this skinny tough on foot from Wizardry and Stitchery. They were selling a... You were the first recipient of that. Serious? Yes. So they are going to be selling... Yes. <laughs> a... <laughs> A kit of multiple feet. We can show it in just a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm the first recipient of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel really special. Now. You should. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're the first recipient. I'm just going to leave the other Let's side see. raw edged and we're going to do it like this. We're making our own design here, guys. Because I don't want to pull this through let's just if she doesn't want to do it she's not going to do it i just don't want to guys don't make me especially when all this is is the snap tab thing for the tablet sleeve i just this will work just fine I'm just gonna trim this layer down to be even. Beautiful. There, and there's my zipper tab. I know you can't really see it because it's all black, but it works great. Okay, now we wanna put our snap on, which, Susan? I don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do it. And I'm like, I don't have room to do this. It's just the table and all this stuff. It's fine. It's okay. You don't need to get up. But I want to. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get out of the way, and I also want to see how to do it. All right. So this one Teach is me. that one. All right. So these are our pieces. We want this piece, and we want. Are they all the same size? Um, no, there are two different sizes in here. Susan has the this kit that we got from Amazon. There, it's hard to see the different pieces. Is this it? Nope. 
um, there was a little guide when you got it. There should have been a piece of paper. Sorry, my head's like right in the camera. There should have been a little piece of paper, but I can't find the other. So that, and this, and this. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I figured it out. It's this one and that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get out the other two pieces. For the other one, it's this one and this one, I believe. Let's make sure that's the right size. Yes. Okay. Kind of confusing, these uh, kits, but so this one is, these two pieces go together, okay. and then these two pieces go together, okay. all right? So you have this little plate here okay. that they, it's, this is gonna be loud too. Okay, one side has like a little divot up in it and one side is flat. So we want the flat side. Okay. And then we need a hole punch. You don't have a hole punch, do you? Nope. We'll use a stiletto. Those snaps always trip me up. I know. Um, usually it comes with a little instruction booklet, but I don't know if she just threw hers away, which seems not Susan-like. No, no, I think I know where it is. Do you want me to get it? No, I, I, I know. They usually come with a, a picture guide of how to do this, which is helpful. See, she needs that cam press so we know how we can put holes in our... <laughs> There's a hole punch in the cam press. Oh, there is? Mm-hmm. Basically, it's magic. Basically, cam press presses are magic, yes. Yeah, so you want to put... This side through that hole, maybe. I should have brought her a hole punch too. I didn't think about that. Come on. Come on, nails, work with me. It is not. Let's see here. She needs a whole punch. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> okay, I can't get this through. So maybe my tablet sleeve will not have a snap on it. Guys, any suggestions? Hammer on the floor. It comes with one and you hammer it. What? Is, this is there? Kit? No, yeah. it doesn't. Oh, does it come with a hole <gasps> punch? It does come with a hole punch. Oh saying. my gosh. I didn't realize it came with a hole punch. I wonder if I can hammer on hit it for this or if I need to hammer it on the floor. Ha, <laughs> okay. There we go. Phew. Thank you. I was starting to get really frustrated. Thank you guys. All right. So that side and then this through. Okay. And then there's two different sizes here. Isn't there? No. You only have one size. Okay. One size. You put this one in here. Okay. And I'm just going to hammer it. I may have to put it on the floor. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me for a minute. And you want it till it doesn't like shift around. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's on there. It's on there and it like it moved mm -hmm. that thing down in there. Oh, gotcha, yep. Right, and mm -hmm. so we'll put this piece on the tablet sleeve. I didn't realize it came with a hole punch. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> uh -oh. We'll see if we make it through this bag. All right, got my snap, got my swivel. Let's move to the lining. Okay. Sorry, I know hammers are loud on the camera. I apologize. Blame Susan. Okay. <laughs> You're too jealous. Thank you. All right. 
my tablet sleeve panels here. And we're gonna sew those together. You can always add the snap on when you get home. Yeah, that's true. I could. You're all saying that you need chocolate. Do you need chocolate? I need something, guys. Oof. Yeah. Tell my sister, I get so hangry anymore. It's kind of crazy. You want a flips yogurt? It's like Do you want insane. No, I'm okay right now. I think I actually have to go to the bathroom because I drink so much swig. <laughs> Earlier, she just all of a sudden out of nowhere said, I'm hungry. And I just laughed. I'm like, I believe you because of the way you just said that. It's bad. I can't help it. Even Missy's like, we need to get you food now. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to make you a caprese salad? No, we'll just eat after. It's fine. I'm okay. Do you want me to hand feed you? Wow. <laughs> no. I eat so much on camera, they do not want to listen to me eat again. They're used to it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sure people are totally turned off by it sometimes. Teddy's all, excuse me, mommy. Thank you. Very loves my little drawer with everything in it all tiny. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It is pretty nice. She did a good job organizing her little area. Morning, are you okay? I wonder if you guys need to go outside. I kind of want to go out for the kids for a while. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm going to check when we can see that the pizza out. Okay. I forgot that pizza is pretty heavy. Wow, wow. Okay. Come on, Ruggies. Menopause, <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> don't you dare say those words. Maybe, I don't know. What is that called right before perimenopause or whatever? Maybe, maybe, who knows? Yeah, her sewing area is super neat and I am making it so messy right now with all of my, I'm just used to my sewing room where everything just gets thrown on the floor. I don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help her sweep up when I'm done. I promise <laughs> it will happen. All right. So now this is my tablet sleeve. I'm going to turn it out. And I didn't bring my little, uh, I didn't bring my chopstick. Let's see, I didn't bring many tools. Let's see if she has something. I could use her screwdriver, I suppose. Well, this sewing area is her bedroom, so that's why it looks so neat. We are messing it up. And I am just gonna use her little screwdriver here. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm okay. I really am. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Nice and pressed out. And then I don't think she has a turning tool. Maybe she doesn't. I'm not seeing it. Let's see. Top stitch across the top. And this is where you install the other half. Okay. So we're going to top stitch and then we're going to install the other part up. Let's do it. I wonder if my foot is 
is too high now. Feels like it is. I'm going to install our, our snap. You want the middle and one inch down. Okay. I'm throwing things everywhere here. <laughs> I just threw a D ring across the room. Oh, I see it. Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> What's half of 13 and a fourth? Um, uh, six, six and three fourths and three fourths. Okay, cool. Right there. Right there is our other snap. Okay, we're going to install the other snap. And I'm just going to do this real quick on the floor, guys, because I think it worked to be better that way. And then we want this other tool for the other part of the snap. So I'm going to... Just take this on the floor real quick and do it. Sound good? Kids okay? Maybe. I'm sorry, that's so loud. It is not going through. I may have to do this when I get home. Can you do it after the fact? Huh? Can you do it after the fact? I'm going to do it on your child camera. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I don't think it... I think we had our, our measurement wrong, but that's right. 13 and a half. Right. Was that not the center? Did you say 13 and a quarter? Yeah, 13 and three fourths. Oh, and, um, yeah. That's I, the half I pulled in it. Okay, it wasn't quite right, but. It'll be fine. It's just the tablet, um, tablet sleeve, so it'll go okay. All right, and then I'm gonna take these two tools. It goes great on your kitchen counter, or your bathroom counter top. Oh, good. Do it here. Talk to the people. Okay, people. Don't forget to, oh, no, it's something else. Do you recall what kind of LE light you purchased for the Juki? Oh. I could tell you. Let me look it up. Everyone told me I'm going to want an extra light, so when Kasai told me I had a machine coming, I went on Amazon. Sorry, someone's pounding in the background, and I just yeah. can't even hear myself <laughs> think. If you had a cam press, we wouldn't have to pound things. <laughs> well, thank you to your friends. <laughs> I know. All right, we're done with this. We can put this away out of the... I'm looking at this. Oh, it's a... Done. Here. I'm going to see if I can... I'll share the link of the light that I bought from Amazon. Maybe it's the link. I don't know. Did it work? Yes, there it is. Did you get it? Got it. All right, so let's get our main panel. Mm -hmm. And cut out two corners. And lay. Okay, bye Jackie. Okay. It is great when kids get their license. You don't have to drive them around quite as much. But it's also very scary. All right, I'm cutting out my bottom corners of my lining, and then we'll put on our tablet sleeve piece. Okay. <laughs> no. Susan knows how to link them. No, Annette, I just did one link. That's it. You're not fired. You're not fired, Annette. Don't leave us. 
We love you. <laughs> We'd be lost without you. Oh, good night in London. It's probably really oh, late. Oh, wow. All right, and then this, let's see. Okay. So I need to measure up. Liar. It's 2.30 a.m. in London. Oh, my. Girl. What are you doing on here? Girl. Go to bed. We love you so much. Go get some sleep. Go to bed. Yes. Thank you, though. That was very nice of her to be watching. Seriously, that's incredible. <laughs> Closing up my bottom here because it's a little thick. And then I am gonna put just a little tiny bit of tape so it'll stay in place for where I want it on this panel because I can't really clip through because, or I can't use any pins because it's canvas. I don't really wanna put pins through canvas. So I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of. Does it leave a permanent hole if you put pins through canvas? Yeah, it's just. Not the best. I, I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to. And then this. Mark in my center. I want it that high up. It's hard to do on this table. I need more table space. Let's see. That is my center. Just trying to center my pocket here. Right there. Can I do it? Yes, you can. Okay. It already moved on me, see? No, you can't. <sighs> Carol is reminding you to watch out for sticky needle. I know, I did really skinny tape and hopefully It'll stay out of my seam allowances. So there's this game that Kasai and I like to play at this place we take the kids. I say we take the kids, but let me just clarify. We have gone here without the kids before. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giving us up like that? Oh, shoot, sorry. Anyways, <laughs> it was for the children. We went to the arcade today. For, for the, the children. children. It's for the children. For the children. And there's a game where you're playing Connect Four, but you're doing it with basketballs. And yeah. it was so much fun. I took a quick video of it. I'll have to post it so you can see it. Kasaya was pretty good. I think all those years of me forcing you to play basketball has paid off. I mean, I'm, I'm okay at shooting hoops. I'm not the worst. You're not the worst. I'm just not saying. the worst. You've never thanked me for that. Well, you are correct. I forced you to play hours and hours of horse. Yep. And I got hit in the face many, many times. Well, that's true, actually. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's all right. It's all good. All right, let's make sure. Yeah, that's looking good. It's looking good. Hmm. Do one more stitch right there. All right. Hello, Alona. Oh, Jadir says she uses painter's tape to hold it in place. Mm. creative people. I know, it's kind of awesome. I love getting all the different ways of doing things, know, right? Awesome, 
one more right there. See if your needle's sticky. It's a tiny bit, but I think we're okay. Almost there. I like to reinforce the corners of pockets like this because I know it's going to be taken in and out quite a bit. So I do back stitch quite a bit in those corners. There's my tablet sleeve. Look at that. All right. Cool, right? It's even, it's padded and everything. Seriously. Mm-hmm. All right. So this, it's not the prettiest, but it is fine. Look. It's fine. It's fine, guys. We want that right there, and we want it to overhang just a little bit because you want it, you want to have a little bit of bowing right there because you want yeah. to be able to put something in there, right? Right. Otherwise, you don't want to butt it up right against it. So make sure you pop that up. And we are just going to... Right? Am I doing this right? Just a minute. Based in place. Yep. I make more noises the more tired I get. Okay. It's just how it goes. All right. Tablet sleeve done. And then, let's see. I want to add a snap. Yep, okay, we're gonna add this to this. We're gonna baste it in here, okay? I'm gonna baste it about right here. And do a tiny bit of overhang for that. And that loves the pink against the black. It's pretty, huh? I wasn't originally going to do black lining, but then I ran out of pink and I pulled the black out and it's kind of awesome. It's gonna look really cool in the back. All right, and then I wanna get my, ooh, I'm, I'm running out of pieces, guys. We're almost, we're getting close. All right, this, and we wanna put this on top here. Okay, here we go. I may, I may, depending on how thick the top is when I get all done with this bag. <laughs> I may take this home to top stitch it, guys. Because I just don't want it to get messed up. Wendy wants to know if you ever got your new King Max. Nope. I did not. As this person who is not Steve, Steve told us. Barbara. Who Barbara. Right? Says that she watches tutorials at night while riding her stationary bike, and then in the morning, she buys the pattern and sews it up. Aww. Like all night to dream up color choices. <laughs> that's and awesome. Choices. That's oh, awesome. that's awesome. That's awesome. I like that. I usually do that at night too. My brain never stops. And if I know that I need to cut out a pattern the next day, like I lay there in bed and think up what materials I want to use the next day, and I usually wake up knowing exactly what I'm going to do. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Like this one right here. I knew. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Um, My bobbin. I think I pressed the cutter thing again. Yep. Or are we out of bobbin? Oh, oh, we're out of bobbin. Yeah, I think so. Out this of bobbin. Is, people, this is where I come in. This is Susan's job, you guys. This is my big moment. This is her big reveal. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure this camera gets you doing this too. This is my contribution to this bag. Here she goes. So I just want you to know I helped. You know what, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Well, you will yeah. allow it. Yep. We will allow it. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll do what she does. contribution. I have to think about this. Wait. Get 
in there. Hopefully I didn't just do it backwards. <laughs> I might have just done it backwards, I can't remember. How's it coming? Sometimes professionals just take a little extra time. It's totally fine. I can't find a little notch. Come here, you little thing. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Like. No. What was that? It's right here. Right here. Oh, did I do it backwards? And I said that was the one thing I could do. Well, guess what? I might have gone the wrong way. <laughs> Not quite the most amazing demonstration. I think I just went backwards. See, now I'm like doubting myself. Now I'm thinking, wait a minute, I swear it was that direction. I thought it was, it is, that was right. Was it right? It's right, it just it didn't sound good. No, we're gonna try it again, but I swear it's right. Is anyone telling me to stop what I'm doing? And no, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's okay. Did you hear that? That's yeah. the sound of beauty. Good job. I wonder, do we need one or two? Let's just do two. Let's do two. So you need to do twice the amount that I usually do. For making bags, because your bobbins hold less. Your bobbins hold less. Well, no. Your bobbins hold less, actually. Yeah. Sue Sam. <laughs> We're gonna do one more just to be safe here. Okay. That doesn't sound good. I think it, it just came off. It just came off. Is that gonna mess it up though? Oh, here. Any scissors? I was gonna use a razor blade. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> As Susan slices her finger off on my live, trying to wind a bobbin. Trying to show you how I do one thing <laughs> that Saya doesn't know how to do. Oh, man. So funny. So funny, guys. So funny. Stay in there, please. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Did I take your scissors? I put them back, didn't I? Mm -hmm. No, they're in here. I don't think so. Rotate it so the pin. They're yeah. saying to get um, an actual bobbin winder or something. Like, it's just easier, and then you don't have to unthread it every time. But then I can do this. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nope. <laughs> you couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it. Um, yeah, the dogs can come in. Did they go outside to go potty? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, wait, yes, yes. They did? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Should buddy. Should this closed or? Uh, yeah, close it, because okay. we don't want it too loud. Thanks, bud. Did you put it back in? Are we good? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Clickety-click. Clackety-clack. Don't talk back. And don't be away. Oh, now I have, you're making me re-thread this? Oh, I'll re-thread it. Do you want me to re-thread it? No, it's totally fine. I got this. That's Should right. we do the, the every hole? We can try it. We can do the bobbin hole, too, if you want. That, like that? I don't know, I've never done the every And then around, right? Yep. And then yep. down this way. Yep, and then back and to up catch and it. there, and then down here. Boom, chipolaka. And then here, and then here. Yep. And then here. Downtown. It's very similar to my industrial, actually. Downtown, Julie Brown. Got it. Boom, chicka boom. That's we are back in business. All right. Thank you.
You're welcome. So what you're saying is you could have made this bag without me? Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. I couldn't have made it without her. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. Hi, Rita. It's challenging. It would have been very challenging. <laughs> Don't think I could have done it. Mm -mm. Oh, ma'am. All right. Let's get back to this business. Up. Press top panel up and away from main panel. Here we go. We're going to top stitch this sucker. Let's see if we threaded it correctly. <laughs> up and up. All right. Sounds good. Oh, got some layers there. We're good. Yes. Okay. And then we just have the other side of the lining to go. We have a slip pocket and a zipper pocket, and then we'll put everything together. How long have we been on, Susan? We have been on now. Well, my thing is like not processing very well, but it's mm, good to Oh, work. what does mine say? 151. All right. It's okay, guys. Real time sewing. There's no editing going on here. I could have made a whole pencil pouch in that time. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> bag patterns you have your eyes on Emily it's a great question there is a tease of a pattern coming out from oh Annette who was that from that I posted today it was a car threads Ooh, I know there are a million slings look how pretty that looks I know there are a million sling patterns right now but you guys car threads teased a couple pictures of a sling that they're coming out with she's coming out with and it kind of looked amazing, and I'm super excited for that. Yeah. Do we put our contribution for the cam press in the Patreon account? Oh, Brenda, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> However you want to do it, you can do it through this video right here. And that's trying to teach her how to do it. Okay. You could do it through my coffee account. You could do it through Patreon. Yeah. Any of that's great. We'll get this girl set up with a press so I don't have to hammer when I come over. Oh. Like a animal. <laughs> animal hammering over here. Oh. I'm sorry, the work conditions over here are just terrible. Seriously, how do you expect me to get anything done? Actually, no, this is kind of fabulous sewing on this machine. It's working so nice, Susan. I'm so excited for you. I kind of, I know that tonight we'll play games and then you're leaving tomorrow, but I kind of want to sew something. Well, I brought enough supplies for you to sew lots of things. We do want to do the not it, or jot it down oh, yes. notebook, right? You yeah, should cut so that I've, out. I've had my eye on that one. It's a, it's a K-Dale handmade pattern, the jot it down notebook cover. Mm -hmm. And she's come up with different sizes and different kinds. I really wanted to try that. Mm -hmm. Seems legit, and sewing room of Garner are releasing the Empress Tote this month. Awesome. Awesome. But yes, we were thinking of doing a, a sew together on two different machines for the jot it down. Okay. Slip pocket. I'm going to pull that through. Is that where you leave that little thing? That yeah. Space? Mm hmm And I like to come off at that 90 degree angle because it helps me turn it back in better. And then when I'm cut the corners so it turns better? I cut these corners, yeah. So sorry, you're just we're just gonna have to sweep. I, I know. Okay. I've been watching. I'm so messy. Things everywhere. I know. 
It's fine. Just the worst. I'm the worst, You're people. You're the worst. You're creative. <sighs> I just don't have time to aim for a trash can. You can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Who's got time for that? Do you have like a chopstick corner turner thingy? I mean, I have chopsticks. Mm, okay. Food. Yeah. Okay. Should I go get one? No. I used your screwdriver and it worked fine. All night with science. <laughs> All right, let's get her screwdriver out here again. <laughs> it works great, actually. Does it? Uh huh. Get these corners pressed out. I think I'm actually, is the iron on? Did I turn it back on? Is it still on? Um, you have to like turn the dial and do oh, it yeah. again. Oh yeah, it's hot. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take this to her iron and just give it a really good press real quick since it's all cotton material, I can do that. And then we'll attach it to the lining. Kaylin flings her threads too. She thought she was the only one. Oh gosh, no. I can attest that you are not the only thread flinger. Nope. I'm really bad. I even have a huge trash can under my sewing machine and maybe a fourth of it gets in there. Maybe. If that. When we sewed at Kathy's house, Kathy had little trash cans for each of us. And Kasaya had the hardest time remembering that. I'm like, I'm so sorry, Kathy. She's just throwing the thread everywhere. She's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I do have a trash can that I use, but I didn't pull it out. I didn't want her to have the pressure. It's such a bad habit. It's okay. I want your I know, like when you're going, you're just going and you don't have time to sit and aim for a trash can. I know, it's just terrible. It's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of pressure you're asking. <laughs> a lot of things you're asking of me. Teddy. Teddy's over here scaring himself. <laughs> he does that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mother me does that too. Did she take both phones again and he's scared to get one? No. He has no to do. Okay. Teddy, do you want out, honey? Yes. There you go, baby. Bye, baby. Go on. Goodbye. No? Okay. Great. Oh, Brenda, you're so good. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh. I totally rolled over and marked up my panel. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Top stitch this, and then we'll attach it to our lining. Part of me wants to just forget the zipper pocket. <laughs> Brooms and vacuums were invented for sewers. That's right. That's why most places are vacuum and sewing. <laughs> I don't oh, know, actually. So <laughs> oh my goodness. Another campus to meet you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, you better find me a pattern with some rivets, babe. Baby. Okay, you got it. You got it. I actually I've never finished my strap for the Nuga because I don't have. Hmm. Really? You did it? No, I just grabbed a strap from an old bag you made me and put it on there. Oh, well, okay. You get that and you can finish your strap from the Nuga. That's perfect. Deal. Deal. And let's see her centers. And I'm gonna do the whole eh, eh, I'm just throwing things everywhere. Do you have um an air racing pin? Yes, down on the first little cubby towards you at the bottom. Okay. It's all of the marking stuff. They're having a sale. People are saying they're having a sale. 
Is this yeah. an air racing one? This is just a regular pen. Yeah. There's another one in there that's an air racing one. It has two sides to it. Like blue side and this one? Side. Make sure you are on the right side, though. One of them is air racing, one of them's not. Okay. Okay, we're doing half of 13 again, which is six and a half, right? About um, water soluble air erasing. This one, right there. 15% off cam snaps right now. <gasps> it was meant to be. Okay, it's until the 12th and proceeds up to 10,000 go to an animal rescue center. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Okay, so That's decided after awesome. using the Juki, would you recommend this model to someone who can't afford the cost of an industrial or doesn't have a space for an industrial table? Oh, um, yes. It's a great little machine. I have, but listen, I haven't sewn on all the different Juki models. Like, I know there's other ones out there. There's newer models out there. Um, and there's other brands that probably there's other there. brands out there, so I can't say that I have sewn on a lot of different ones to be like this is the one. The reason I got this one is because I did have the opportunity to sew on it at the wizardry retreat, and I felt like it would be perfect for my sister's needs and what she was looking for, which is why we got this one. It was just available to me. I could get it through wizardry and I had sewn on it. So I knew it would do what she needed to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's a great little machine. Susan's sewn on it. She loves it so far, right? And it works with my 45 thread, which is always a bonus. And it's handling these layers pretty nicely. I did not when I originally cut this bag out, it was not in my plans to um, come here and sew it up. So I would have probably used lighter materials had I known I was going to be sewing it at Susan's house. But for what it is and what I'm doing, it's working really nicely so far. Does that help? I kind of mumbled. I kind of went on a rant there. It was not a rant. Okay. Emily says she thinks I might get a first time discount if I join the, the Cam Snap Facebook group. Plus, there's a 50% off. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, you guys, I don't think I'm gonna put a zip pocket in this bag. I don't think. Because you're over it or because you just don't want I it? I just, there's two big zipper pockets on the outside mm. and there's this divided slip pocket on the inside and that tablet pocket. I don't, I don't think for me and my uses and what I'm doing, I don't need the zipper pocket. Okay, so we're going to not do a zipper pocket on the inside, but if you wanted to, you could add a zipper pocket right up here and you could do that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that out because this is for me and I don't feel like I need it. Okay. Jade says you rebel. I'm such a rebel. Um, I'm gonna add my top piece on here. Okay. And then we'll piece together the lining and then we'll put the two together. new tags. Oh, are you so excited? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I, really am. Mm, 
I'm so excited for you. We'll have to pick out what bag you're gonna do. Samantha wants to know if she needs to attend the wizardry retreat to get the machine through them or just get a machine through Juki Junkies or Amazon or something. I mean, her call. Yeah, so I don't think it matters. You don't have to get it through wizardry. Again, it was just because I was in the, that place. It happened to be a good time. I was able to try it. Um, yeah, you don't have to. I would say if you want to be able to have customer service and help with your Juki, I would buy it from a dealer um, just because I know that Wizardry got theirs through Juki Junkie, so we probably still have that available to us, but you might have more of a direct line if you get it through them. But I would highly recommend checking out Wizardry's packet of feet if you do buy the machine because it's kind of amazing. Yeah, don't buy from Amazon. Don't buy a big machine like this from Amazon, please. Go to a dealer. I love Amazon, but I wouldn't buy a sewing machine through them. Susan, have you decided which pre-cut kit you want for the workshop? I don't know if she's seen pictures. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen the pictures yet. I'm super excited. I get to start going to these things and actually sewing. That's right. Eek. All right. Let's put these layers together. Maybe I can cut threads. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm also need junkies. Yep. I would. Oh, those guys are so sharp. Let me just slice my finger. All right. Here we go. Doop, boop, boop, we doop, we doop. Oh, um, we can put a snap on the top. I am not gonna put a, I'm not doing a closure on the top of mine because it's just a big tote to hold all my stuff for road trips and I don't need it to close. Did you, do you need a bandaid? I might. Okay. <laughs> I might. She all right. Needs a I'm like, I'm gonna start bleeding on the bag. I've done that twice with those kite scissors. They're so sharp. Well, because I don't use them to cut zippers. <sighs> well, are you gonna give me my other pair? If I can find them, I'm looking for them. She lost the pair of Kai scissors that she was supposed to give to me. Somewhere. Or she stole them. Like she steals all my stuff. <laughs> Literal blood, sweat, and tears. That's right. <laughs> All right. Where are we leaving a hole? Mm, you know what? I think I was supposed to leave a hole in that zipper pocket. I did not do. So... We're gonna leave a hole in the side seam of this lining instead. Okay, okay, that should work out just fine. Let's do that. Here we go. Oh, I'm supposed to use a bigger seam allowance and I don't know where that's at on here. I need to buy her a little ruler, little tiny one that I like to use. Okay, here we go. It's not really bleeding. I think I might be okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you should have band-aids by your sewing stuff just in case for things like that. I was just trying to teach you a lesson. Oh, well, I have been taught. <laughs> I'll put them in my very organized drawer. You should. 
I was supposed to leave a hole in that pocket open. Oh, no. So we're gonna do it in the lining instead. Okay. It'll be fine. Where did you purchase the canvas for your bag? Um, so I purchased this lighter weight, I think was Indo Love. She has new lightweight fabric canvas. I think this was Indo Love. And then the pink is the Lux Nylon from Wonderground that I absolutely love. I love her Lux Nylon. It is probably one of my favorite bases. Thank you. Sorry. It just, it like, I thought it was going to start gushing and it didn't. So we're good. All right. All right, here we go. Let's do the rest here. Amy, are you still alive? Yep. yep. <laughs> We're towards the end. We're almost done. Liquid bandage. See, Anna, that's what I need. I need some liquid bandage by my sewing room. That would be amazing. Oh, that's really smart. Mm-hmm, that is smart. Kathy says all of her lighter water resistant cat is freeze. Do you have that problem? Um, not with this one. Some of it does, yeah. This one also, if you run a lighter along your edges, it'll kind of seal it as well. So that's another thing you can do. All right, and then I want to box my corners. And guys, we're gonna put the two layers together. Can you even handle it? I can't handle it. I knew it. You know what sounds really good? Maybe just because I'm hungry? Yeah. Pizza. Yeah, Why does pizza me. sound good? I love that one pizza. What's that one pizza? The margarita pizza from Rosati's? Yes. <sighs> Do you want to get you one? I mean, maybe. Wouldn't that be yummy? Let me see if I can get it That sounds really good. I love Rosati's. And that that salad, that like um, strawberry, remember that salad? That's like strawberry with that vinaigrette balsamic mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. With the feta cheese. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I am making the Road Tripster from K Dale Handmade. I'm almost to the finish line. We are almost there. Okay, here we go. We want to right sides out. What's the bag called again? What? What's the bag called again? The Road Tripster Tote. Oh. Okay. Because I skipped out on the zipper pocket, which was supposed to be my <laughs> my opening. Silly me. All right, here we go. I want to put right sides together. I'll see, how would you even, how's your brain mother do that? Right sides together. That's as long as your right sides are together, mm -hmm. so the lining, right side with the exterior of the bag. If it just feels right sides together. Okay. Doesn't matter if this is the exterior or the lining, as oh. long as your right sides are together when you put it together, it'll flip out correctly. Okay. And then whatever side of the lining you want, on the back of the bag, put it on the back of the bag, right? Next it? to the back of the bag. I want the tablet on the back of the bag. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, as much as it does in my brain. Okay. All right, here we go. Layers but together. Make sure my handles. Where do you buy the patterns? Uh, KDaleHandmade.com. And then, yep, yep, yep. Here we go. We're just going to clip. Bricey Bricey's going to go by and get <gasps> us a pizza and salad. Thank you, Bricey. Yay, that makes me so happy. All right, I always line up my side seams first here. Flatten them out. I want to flatten those side seams. All right, here we go. I think, ugh, I think I'm going to top stitch this at home on my other machine. Is that okay? Um, yeah, I mean, do whatever you want to do. I just, I want it to, I don't want to like mess up at the last minute and be frustrated because I'm tired and it may be okay. We'll see how thick the seam is. Why am I not sewing? Well, this is a little above me. She's trying out my machine, and I'm sitting in a recliner, so life is good. <laughs> I don't think she's complaining, guys. <laughs> but I do. I got these new tags from Jade, and I'm dying to make mm -hmm. something to put a tag on it. You should make just like should I make a little simple, simple a little bag? boxy bag to start. That'd be cute. To put my little tag on. Yep. Like a box. fabric boxy bag, not, not a, a not a jelly one. Not a jelly one, but like do like a fabric boxy bag. I've never done a fabric anything well, on bags. Let's do it. Mm -hmm, that'd be cute. Or like the peekaboo pouch is a fun one. Or the posh. Is it posh? Is that what it is? I don't know if Jake's no, still on not here. Not the posh. But um, what I should do is I should make a bag. And fill it with something amazing and send it to Jade for making those tags. For me. Amy, move the camera. We need to see Susan. No, I'm just in the recliner with the ridiculous. Your wish is my command. Oh. Or my, my what? Your command is my wish? I don't even know. No, your that doesn't make sense. Your wish is my command. Is that what it is? I'm like, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Well, it's what Does it, it? I was going to move you guys this way it. anyways. I've got my... Your tripod's like crooked. It's look. Because it's not. Look at her. Look how relaxed she's been the entire time. While I'm working Please. and sewing and stressing. Times. Yeah, she has. <laughs> That's true, too. This is too. what I'm doing right now, everyone. Right. Hi. Hey. Look, I'm doing a very serious job. I'm reading all of your comments. <laughs> That's very serious. Very serious. All right. Um, her clipping song was in my head for hours. <laughs> All right. Cut it, mm -hmm. flip it, mm -hmm. sew it, mm -hmm. and then if you mess up, rip mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. bum, bum, bum. How do you? I do what I do. How do you put this back down? Crank it. Okay, you gotta crank it. <laughs> down, down, down. All right. I was gonna move them this way, anyways, for this last step. So that works. Yes, I can show you the tags in a minute. She's almost done, and I'll show you the tags. We've got our beautiful stiletto from Carla Boomershine. Remember Carla? Oh, yes, I do remember Carla. This is from them. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carla. Love you, Carla. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all can tell you're getting tired. Uh, no, we get a little, we get a little cuckoo as the, Cocoa the time goes on. This is true. That is our life too. There's always something going on. Uh -huh. Do your brothers live in Colorado? They do not. I am the only Coloradan. We all lived in Colorado at one point. Uh, kinda, yeah. Well, 
I guess. In high school. Jason didn't. No, Jason didn't. Jason's never lived in Colorado. We have one brother in Arizona and one brother who lives here in the same town as me. Yep. In St. George. And our parents. And our parents live here. <laughs> Christine's still here because she found candy in her office drawer. Yes. Yep. Where's my candy? I offered you some. You offered me string cheese. And That's... peanut M&M's. I said oh, you... I've... Oh, I love peanut M&M's like you love peanut M&M's. You don't like them? I mean, they're okay. If there's absolutely nothing else to choose from, I'll eat a peanut M&M. Peanut butter M&M? That's a whole yeah, different ball are, game. That is a whole different level. Are people still watching? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They're ready to see me finish this probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super a little worried about um, top stitching over these seams on the corner here. I think I'll top stitch at my house, guys. But we're gonna turn it out and do everything else. I call that turn and burn, baby. Turn and burn. <laughs> it's not what I call it. But <laughs> oh, is that a bad thing? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just from, funny. It's from Top Gun. Is it from Top Gun? Oh, yeah, turn okay, and burn. I'm like, I don't know what that's from. <clears throat> all right, let me see, let me see, let me see. You know what? I think just because I'm paranoid and all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more round right next to that one. Oh, do it. Sorry. I don't think I locked the, the wheels, so it's me. All right. I'm going to go one more time around. <laughs> Elizabeth says, we're still here, just like Susan, hanging out, watching you do all the work. <laughs> all righty then. I'll keep going. In my defense, we've destroyed the house, so I have to clean it. I will do work, I promise. I know. Her room is destroyed. And that's in a recliner too. Nice. <laughs> I feel like Saturday night lives are very well like attended. People like the Saturday night thing. Yeah, they're not working. They're not. Yeah, it's somewhere. a good time to do it, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Maybe I'll try and do that more. You can call it your Saturday Night Life. My. Wah, wah, wah. Wendy's in a recliner, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in a recliner. Samantha's cutting out some new goods right now, and it's 10 20 at her. Yay. It's the best working time when it's quiet. We want to see what this machine can do. Top stitch it. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know, guys. Let's turn it first and we'll see. We'll see. There's Susan again. Here, we get to see her while we turn the bag. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the most lovely view, but I'm comfortable. Okay. So I want to come through the side. Hopefully, it's big enough. Can you please stay turned and burn. Turn and burn, turn baby. And burn. Turn and burn. <laughs> oh, man. The kids are awfully quiet. They are awfully quiet. Should we be worried? Nah. They're pretty good kids. They are. They're pretty amazing. They're probably watching a show or who knows. Charlotte was saying that she wanted... Oh, weren't they playing Jackbox or something? They were earlier, but I think they wanted to make a comment. Charlotte was going to write, and Gabriel was going to draw. Okay. No, the kids didn't bring us any pizza, but...
We, I just texted my husband, and he's gonna bring us good pizza, like adult pizza. The kids have. What's the place called that I like? Frozen pizza. Um, it's called Rosati's, and Rizzotti. it's so good. It's so good. It's my favorite. Every time I come, I'm like, oh, can we get pizza? <laughs> they have certain things they want to do when they come here every time, and it's actually kind of nice because it's really easy to please them. I don't yeah. have to think up of new things. It is. They want a sweet drink. Pretty easy going people. Do some kind of water sport. Mm -hmm. um, her her youngest son, Marcus, always wants to go to Zupa's, which is a soup and salad place. <laughs> it's his favorite. Mm -hmm. And mine. And our, all of ours. Mm -hmm. And she wants a pizza from Rosati's. Simple, simple people. Play a few games. Mm -hmm. Maybe sew a few things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take the dogs on walks. I am not top stitching this. That bag is so cute. I don't think it's going to get through the seam on the top. That's fine. I don't want you to ruin your bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm not it. top stitching this. Sorry, guys. This is my bag, and I don't want to. I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Biscuit for the biscuit. Whoop, whoop. That is so cute. That's really cute. Oh my god. So I would suggest if you are sewing on a machine like this, this bag, just be aware of your materials because. Again, when I cut this out, I wasn't planning on sewing it on her machine. And so that wasn't like in the back of my mind. But these two side seams right here, I feel like they're gonna be a little too thick for this machine. Okay. And that says she wouldn't risk it either. Yeah. <gasps> that, oh my goodness. Look at my new tote. <laughs> So that is cute. so cute, you guys. Uh, what a cute pattern. It's got this huge back zipper pocket. It's got this front zipper pocket and then two slip pockets here. And then I skipped the zipper pocket on this side, but it's got this tablet and then that slip pocket. Ah, this is my new travel bag, guys. This Do is it. Do you love it? I love it. I love it. I was worried the checker handles would be too much, but I think it's just right. Just right. You look really good holding that. Thanks. You just kind of have to go like this to see if it feels good. This is what I do. I just kind of shake a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it works. I think it works. All right, guys. Wait, they want to see the tags one more time. Oh, oh yeah, let's show you the tags. And I feel like I need to put a heartwood and hide the size so I sticker, sticker on my extension table. That's what I'm gonna do. On your, yes, okay. Okay, that feels good to me. Okay, that feels all right. Now right. um, we gotta end this. Okay. All right. Here are Susan's new Heartwood and Hyde tags that she got. Bunch of different colors, but I'll show you this They one. were a surprise. That's so cute. <laughs> Musically made by Susan. <laughs> because it is musically made. You sing the whole time. I don't mean to. As we've seen. <laughs> uh, and then her last one. So cute. Jade did such a good job on these. These say Susan Symphonic Stitches. <laughs> on the staff. Oh, you guys. She's in love. I'm in love. Okay. Can we okay. Get the stickers? Let's okay. Do this. She's going to put on a sticker. On where? I'm going to grab a side one on the extension table. I'm doing a Jade one and a side one at the same time. Oh, guys. She's stickering. Just the extension table. Just the extension table, not the actual machine. I told her the stickers actually kind of come out or come off when she wants to change it. I don't think she believes me, so that's okay. Don't worry about the machine. We'll touch stitch just fine. Loretta, it probably will, but honestly, I'm tired and I wanna do it when I'm fresh. She's a little punchy, people. <laughs> a little punchy. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're stickering. We broke it in. And now, Jade, if you're here. Jade. She's probably not. It's late. She's over. We us. are stickering the table. 
We are doing a Ninja Needle, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these stickers, they just peel right off when you're done with them. Ninja Needle, Heartwood and Hyde have made it to the table. Oh, that's a cute one. It's a cute one, right? Yeah. Make sure it's yeah, the right side. I think up. I had it upside down. Yeah, you did. I think it goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know why this feels very serious, but it does. It's very serious, guys. I have to come straight. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> you should have put stickers. <laughs> it's fine. Just leave it. Okay. Mine are like... Okay. <laughs> she can't do it. Ugh. I'll put it right there. Okay, perfect. <gasps> Ta-da! Her first two stickers. Yeah, that's good. Put it on your table. That's perfect. Yeah, that makes me feel better. That's really cute. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us for this very long life. And now we're going to get pizza and salad. <gasps> Yay. And thank you for the cam press money. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Guess what we're doing after we eat pizza. We're going to get Susan a cam press. I was actually crying. She didn't show it. but She was crying. It's true. I was feeling emotions. <laughs> okay. Good night, guys. Bye. <laughs>